Princess Tathina, mighty Poseidon, the Earth Shaker, Zelus Artemis, with her deadly aim set to pierce it in the heart of a hummingbird. Pain that pains, all of them. I see you there. Come closer. This is your fault. You are the victim. All the mortals are made in the bone workshop of fools. Jagged reflections from a broken mirror. Behold your god! This one killed six innocent children to satisfy her rage. They squabble. Burn with jealousy, cheat, fight and murder. They're cruel, vindictive and selfish. And let the heel of Achilles, these weaknesses will be their undoing. I have no such flaws. The rest have fallen. Only one stands between me and the rehabilitation of Olympus. Only the foulest, most arrogant, narrow-minded boxer son of Kronos who trapped me beneath the earth. The one and only Zeus! How I've missed you, Prometheus, my favorite cousin. You chained me to this rock and fed my liver to an eagle out of love. Ah, ah. You need my help. Typhon is free. You once fought beside his allies, the Titans. Convince him to stand down. It's not that simple. He is even blocking my ability to glimpse the future. I cannot see past him. Go on. Blast me. I can't! He took my lightning! He took everything! Even the other gods are missing! Look to the mortals. That's done! Those evil, imbecilic, tasteless parasites were all turned to stone! One of those evil parasites is about to save your royal ass. My ass is safely lodged in the Aegean stables, and mortals will never be anything but a mistake. Care to make a wager? If I'm right, my sin of stealing fire and ensuring their survival becomes a blessing. You find your punishment unjust? It's a little... extreme. Do we have a deal? If you win, I'll end your punishment and set you free. But if I win, you help me stop Typhon, whatever it takes. Very well. Let the tale of Phoenix be my redemption! Oh no, not one of your stories. How long is this going to... My tale begins at sea. A ship of soldiers returning from a faraway battle. Their victory ambushed by an unexpected storm. The sea tossed and turned. Waves churned to a throne. The line between sky and sea all but vanished. The mountainous peaks of the waves descended into valleys nearly as deep as Tartarus. You're really painting a picture here. It's an art. Point is, the ship didn't stand a chance. At dawn, the sun rose on the few remaining survivors. The lowest ranked among them, a shield bearer who dreamt of battle, but had seen Nerea... Wait! Don't tell me!
body like uh, this. I see him clear as day. <clears throat> the lowest ranked among them, a shield bearer who dreamt of battle, but had seen nary a skirmish, a teller of tales, not a doer of deeds. Phoenix. What a name, Phoenix. Sounds like the sound a dumb bird makes when it lights itself on fire, which would be ridiculous. Although, I should write that down. Washed up on an unknown shore, Phoenix awoke. Looks like the only way off this beach is up that cliff. Phoenix saw his captain and fellow soldiers in the distance. Through a trick of the light, he could almost see them waving and calling to him. Phoenix! Again! You may not be your brother Ligiron, but I will make something of you yet. Hold my shield. Try not to drop it this time. I didn't see you there. Don't let them get to you. They're just jealous. It's not often someone has a brother like yours. Lokogos! Lokogos, can you hear me? You've gone cold. What magic is this? Ligiron! Where are you, brother? Unarmed and lost, Phoenix was vulnerable. I have to be calm. I have to follow my training. My brother's sword! No! You've always been my hero, my North Star. I will bring you back, I swear it. Phoenix had never been allowed to hold the Hallowed Sword. A gift from Achilles for bravery in battle. It balanced perfectly in his palm, as if forged for it. Achilles' sword? Brother must have been good in... Is something wrong with your voice? I never got a sword. Just saying. Phoenix looked up. He 
By the gods! Stay back! He readied his sword for his first real fight. Phoenix felt his training come into focus. I should be able to survey the land from up there. This is the largest statue of Hermes I've ever seen. I wonder who built it. Besieged by challenge, totally alone, this young hero was determined to save his fellow soldiers and brother. Boring! Can we skip this part? No. This is important for the sense of atmosphere. Hermes, my old friend. It's an honor to finally meet you in person. Just don't tell anyone I'm speaking to you. I got in enough trouble for memorizing stories instead of tilling the soil back at home. And then the other soldiers? Well, they really don't appreciate a good story. like honey, and the first day of spring, and my first kiss, all rolled into one. Phoenix <laughs> got into the Ambrosia too? Prometheus! You worried, Zeus, about losing this bet? Please, he can't use it anyway. Yet. Phoenix's destiny was becoming clear. So far, all you have shown me is a mortal soldier who has fought one real battle, and Typhon grows stronger by the hour. Don't toy with me, Prometheus. I swear to you that soldier shall be our salvation. For if he fails and Typhon defeats us, Zeus, King of Gods, the world will fall to chaos. A temple of Apollo? If it has an oracle or a seer, they could help me undo this curse. A griffin? But they aren't real! Let me go! Help! Hey! I'll save you! I'm coming! I need to find a way to reach that rift. to get down. The pond! <laughs> Phoenix felt Ligiron's blade with every step. Its weight a reminder of the heavy responsibility. You gave him your blade? Oh. Achilles. I, I meant to ask, why exactly would you expect to receive a sword from Achilles? Oh, uh, as an offering. Just a routine offering from someone who gazed into your eyes and told you you were special. That's all. I left a rose on his breastplate. Got something in my eye. Keep going. Who's done this to you? Prometheus, stop with the mortal pity party and get to the action part. Fine. Now that's more like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Adamantine shed by Typhon's minions, Metal of the Gods, threw itself to Phoenix, as if wanting to be forged into something greater. I'll have to swim to the other shore. approached the axe, feeling it call to him. Looks like the axe of Atalanta. That must be a copy. Although... But before Phoenix could claim it, the axe was pulled into the pit by a terrible force. Who knocks upon my door? No one. You think that old trick will work on me? Come into my parlor, said the Cyclops to the sailor. was this strange place? It's Tartarus. Just exactly where had Phoenix landed? Tartarus! The nasty abyss where I imprisoned Typhon. He must have opened rifts into the vaults of the underworld when he escaped. You know it, I know it. Say it! Phoenix was in ta... Sure. I hate you! But aren't you intrigued? No. Keep going. You are either brave, little one, or very foolish. Let's see if you can meet my challenge, or if you will fall like all the others. Who are you? Hello? ran his hands over them, noticing that several pieces were missing, as if someone had ripped them apart. They seem to be man-made. I wonder how they work, if they even work. Actually work, sort of. The axe. The axe of Atalanta, deadliest of hunters, swiftest of heroes, fallen at the hands of Typhon. Didn't I turn them into a lion? You turned a lot of people into a lot of things. I need to stop drinking. Your 
you're still standing, I sent something more in you. A bolt of my lightning! Scattered, hidden by Typhon. It's over! Phoenix is Helios! No one can handle those bolts but me! Oh, really? of Zeus's lightning bolt? No way! Uh, Power surged through Phoenix. Uh, it was too much for him to bear. Uh, what's happening to me? Bye-bye, mortal. And then, just like that, it stopped. No! The wings grounded the lightning. They were designed to withstand storms. That shouldn't be possible. And yet, this is just the beginning. <clears throat> Having plunged into the abyss of Tartarus and living to tell the tale, Phoenix emerged victorious. For now? That stranger I was chasing, where did he go? With the wings, he would be able to flit across the ancient bridge and find out. I wouldn't just strap on discarded junk. Who knows where those have been? Many a night, Phoenix had told tales of a genius. An inventor named Daedalus and his extraordinary wings. Perhaps someone copied their design, Phoenix mused. So junk. Ooh, maybe it's cursed. to help! Hold on! If only Legiron was here. He's the famous hero, not me. What am I going to do? Put the fiends of Tartaros to sleep with storytelling? Typhon stole those too? Karen was saving up for a bridge! Unlike the mortal flesh, which had been frozen into marble, the pomegranate... <sighs> A Gorgon? They're real! What's that glimmering? Maybe if I sneak up on it. A lot of poetry for something that just got a stick in their mouth. Isn't that what the best poetry is about? <laughs> the 
these bracers? I've seen them in drawings. They can't be. Ah, but they were. Heracles, mightiest of mortals, slayer of beasts, defied Hera and accomplished the impossible wearing those bracers. And now, they belong to Phoenix. Through dumb luck? Stop! Over here! Fight someone who's armed instead! <laughs> So, Phoenix, after boldly besting the Gorgon that ambushed Heracles... What are you doing there? That thing with your voice? Heracles? Yeah, that! That is how it's supposed to be pronounced. Seems like a lot of work, but it's your funeral. Except I can't die. Don't remind me. By the gods! I feel like I could lift a mountain! Ah... <sighs> If only those bracers could move this one. Hades alive! You two, get a room! Wasn't a bird. If he fell into that vault, I'll save you! I promise! So let me get this straight. Instead of heating up the Temple of Apollo to speak with the Oracle, Phoenix is hightailing it after this stranger? Phoenix, truly a good person, sought to help the mysterious stranger. But he never lost sight of the fact that he was getting ever closer to the Temple of Apollo and a solution to the terrible curse inflicted upon his brother and fellow soldiers. Oh yes! Remind me to erase my own faults with narration! Zeus! 
truly a good person, murdered his first wife by getting her to turn into a fly and then ate her. Wait, that's what happened to Metis? I thought she was visiting her sister in Babylon. Oops. Ithaca? Odysseus! Wielding power requires more than deft footwork, little one. Let's see if you have control. Who are you? Show yourself! Target seemed easy enough to hit, but the third would require the focus of a master archer. Forget it! Kids today play seashells, skip rocks, stare at the wall, you know, they're hyperactive. This from the god who thinks a weak constitutes a long-term relationship. <laughs> Keep that steady hand, little one, and you might just survive. Armed with the agility of Achilles, the speed of Atalanta, the wits of Odysseus, and the strength of Heracles, Phoenix was ready to face whatever the future had in store. That's it? That's all he has going for him? Fah! Good luck! Huh. 
I'm nearly at the Oracle. The desire to save his comrades and brother hardened Phoenix's resolve. Ah, too easy. Phoenix saw the minions of Typhon had cornered the stranger, leaving no escape. This would be his greatest battle yet. Oh, I hope the stranger dies! It's over. You can come out. No thanks. I'm good. There's nothing to worry about. If I had wanted to hurt you, I could just as easily come and stab you back there. Through that. So, I'm going to go. Phoenix. Unique name. Appreciate the assistance, Phoenix. Nice bracelets. Thanks. I'm on my way to the Temple of Apollo. To see the Oracle. Me too! Ha! It's right over there! Oh, great! I can use all the help I can get. We should go together. Hey, where did you go? My bracers! That rotten little thief! I saved you! I know how you feel, kid. You do everything you can for them, and then they betray you. Huh. What's up with that? Who designed that entrance? A circus performer? A magician? I don't know. Aren't mortals wonderful? Step forward into the light. The mysteries I have to offer are as infinite as the grains of sand scattered across the floor. What is your question? Oh, wise oracle, how do I reverse the curse and turn everyone back from stone? Wow, that's a real, that's a real question. I don't know. It's a mystery. Well, then, how do I get my stolen bracers back? Ah, another mystery. Yes, that's why I came to you, the oracle. Oh, yes. Well, circling that, I'm just the priest. The oracle here turned to stone, but the smoke here is something else. <laughs> Do you think sand is called sand because it's between the sea and the land? Uh, have you seen a little guy with golden hair? No? <sighs> I'm going to go. <laughs> What's so funny? You said to go twice, <laughs> but you still haven't left. My brother was turned to stone, and I can't save him. The one person I tried to help robbed me, and all you can do is laugh. Whoa! Those are all true. Are you an oracle?
Oh, oh, on your way out. Can you pick me up something? I'm starving! Father of your line is not father of your kin. A mountain crowned with flowing locks is how you win. The monster shambles, hungry for immortal flaws. The true hero owns them all, stolen from the beast's jaws. With the wind hurdle take, go on the attack. And sooner than later, change them all back. A pearl of seas, forge fires lit. A wise child convinced, a feather's weight of wit. Eldest of Titus, father overthrown. Hero on high, it's time for you to come home. Now that was a prophecy. What was? Isn't it weird how prophecy ends with I see? But in this case I don't? Stop! Thief! You can have these bracelets back. You're going to need them where you're going. Come with me. No! Look, I'm sorry about stealing from you. It's just something I do. It's kind of a problem. So, we good? Not even remotely. I needed an offering for the Oracle. I thought you were a nobody, and I didn't like your face. But that's all behind us now. We have to go. Didn't like my... <sighs> we don't have much time. He will be here soon. Who? I have just a ticket for you to make it to the mainland. Where are those wings? These? Now who's the thief? Don't look so smug. They won't fly yet anyway. You have to find the other piece. What do you mean, fly? Focus. After that, we need a jar stolen from Aeolus. It's in there? I'll go begin the preparations. Meet me at the top of the observatory with a jar. I... I don't understand. You're in grave danger. Help me help you. Okay, but about what you said earlier. And you're gone. Okay, well, gotta figure out how to get past that barrier. Labyrinthine path before Phoenix seemed daunting, but the light of endless stars helped show the way. goes to die. Farther than most! Don't worry. 
As Phoenix traveled through the underworld, his thoughts turned toward his mother and father. Were they safe in Argos? Had they too been transformed? Phoenix Bored, couldn't help. A huge monster appears! It's ginormous, but Phoenix just laughed. <laughs> So you want to dance, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's perfect! The adorable monster was ever so playful. Everything he had prayed for, to take his mind off his worries. It was a gift from Olympus he would treasure forever. Deep within his vulnerable, yet ever-expanding heart. Ah, fine, have it your way! Just don't make me vomit! Phoenix faced the monster, ready. The monster 
attacked. said this was Aeolus's jar, I thought that it would be a jar with the God of Winds on it, not in it. This little thing can't contain the wind? That's impossible. Phoenix looked at the top of the observatory tower. The planetaria could be seen. Planetary Hubiwati? Uh, it depicts the orbit of planets and... Yeah. You know what? Never mind. As Phoenix continued his journey, he couldn't help but wonder if his story would one day be told amongst the stars. Hermes always says, the stars tell stories, but I don't get it. It's like I can't read. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. Looks like I'll need to solve this to get to the missing wing piece. You can't solve the stars. The stars ah. sold you. At least that's what a seer named Miss Clear once ah. told me. And I won't tell you what happened after that. But the stars were right. She stole your money. She did, yes. Ah. But I turned her into a juniper berry. So overall, not a bad night. The wall is crumbling. I wonder if there's a way to break through it.
Welcome to the Golden Isle, in remembrance of my greatest success and my greatest failure. May the gods accept my offering. May I see you again. Icarus, these are the great Daedalus' wings! He must have built everything here too, all these temples. I can't imagine losing a son like that, what it does to you. The wing piece recovered, and Aeolus' jar back from Tartarus. Now, to find that stranger at the top of the observatory. <clears throat> what? I didn't kill Icarus! Daedalus' faulty wings did that! And where is Daedalus now? <sighs> I see. Silence. I'm sure Phoenix will find out. Eventually. I thought you said you were preparing something. Yeah, preparing for you to return. You got the wings? Yes. Yeah, not really good as new, but what is? Something new? You have the jar, right? Get ready to open it. What is that? You deceitful thing! You thought you could escape me? You stole something from that thing? I told you, it's a problem! To 
free delivery boy. You do not deserve the crown you were given. We'll take you down, Typhon! Just like before! We? <laughs> there is no we! Not anymore! Phoenix! No! Open your wings! I can't! I have you now! Okay, we need to get to safety. Stat. What was that monster? Typhon. Not the Typhon. Oh, you have no idea. Gonna get to the Hall of the Gods, then we can talk. You ready to fly? These were Daedalus's wings. The Daedalus, the great inventor. So? So, they didn't work right, and killed his son. You'll be fine. Just don't fly too close to Helios. And also don't try to go to the bathroom during turbulence. You should make it to the mainland without crashing. Probably. You literally robbed me, and now you're saving me. Why? I didn't follow most of what the Oracle ran through. But if the prophecy is on the money, hero on high, you're the only one who can stop Typhon from remaking the world. We don't even know if it's about me. For someone trying to help everyone right and left, maybe you should accept help once in a while. What are you talking about? Fate's alive! How is the Winged Herald supposed to provide aid when you won't let me? With the Winged Herald's aid? Wait, Winged Herald? No way! You are... Hermes, I like telling half-truths, playing tricks, and taking long runs on the beach. Now, can we go, please? The other gods need our help. Other gods? You mean all the stories are real? Something's wrong with your face. It's doing that slack jod thing again. Fly to the Golden Isle. Meet me at the Hall of the Gods. I'll be waiting. And with that, Hermes disappeared. Phoenix gazed across the narrow band of sea at the peaks and valleys of the Golden Isle ahead. The long path to his true destiny lay stretched out before him. Wait! That was just a prologue! How does it take someone that long to begin a story? Odysseus made it home faster. He's about to jump. Be quiet and listen. Huh! <laughs> 
Suddenly, the majestic form of a wild creature caught Phoenix's eye. If Phoenix wanted to tame the beautiful beast, the mortal would have to befriend it first. Why are you whispering? Because I don't want to scare it away. What are you on? Because can I have some? Huh? <sighs> 
the sight of the Great Hall took Phoenix's breath away. This is... incredible! It's all right. Could use some updating. The column motif is a bit played out. So, we're safe here. Remember that thing I stole from Typhon? It was an itty-bitty piece of his eye to hide this place from his terrifying gaze. You're welcome. You said this is the Hall of the Gods. Well, where are the others? Let me start from the beginning. With his hand on Phoenix's shoulder, Hermes recounted the tale of Typhon, destroyer of gods. Typhon, born of Gaia, was a terrible, cruel beast who vowed to free the Titans and obliterate the gods. He challenged Zeus for the rule of the cosmos. Fortunately, Typhon was defeated. Damn straight he was! And imprisoned under a mountain, where he could do no more harm. I got to get back into that kind of shape. For thousands of years, Typhon festered until Helios was eclipsed and burning stars fell from the heavens. The stars burnt through Typhon's chain, and in an explosion of fire and smoke, Typhon burst from the mountain. The gods had wronged and tortured him. Never again! He vowed. This world will be cleansed. The gods will pay! And so, Typhon sought his revenge. Destroy the veil that separates this hallowed land from the underworld! Let Tartarus walk among the gods! Trouble, devour, and turn these life vault gods to dust! Come, Olympians! Brandish your weapons and face me! You have underestimated my power and work in your hubris! Go to my unseatable perfection! Some gods fled in fear. Others stayed to fight. Many were captured. Typhon split them apart, cleaving their essences from them and transforming them irrevocably. In a final, desperate attempt to save their lands, the gods called on the heroes of old, the last warriors who had more than a few drops of god's blood remaining in their veins. <laughs> Weak and selfish, your heroes will exist as shadows of their former selves, serving me forever! The gods had failed. And so had the heroes. But just when all hope seemed lost... So yeah, a lot of fighting and losing. And now you are our only remaining hope to restore these lands to their former glory and save the world from chaos. All we have, Phoenix, is you. No pressure. I kinda lost track of who's who. Is that one with the spiky hair, you or Typhon? Forget it! The vanquished gods need to be reunited with their severed essences to regain their power. And then, together, you must defeat Typhon. <sighs> huh. This is honestly a lot. I wish my brother was here. Look, kid, I'm not perfect. I'm the guy who escorted Pandora to Earth for Zeus's sake. But maybe, just maybe, you're the right hero at the right time. Also, you're literally all we've got, seeing as how everyone else has been defeated. Good luck! I'll be right here, doing nothing. <clears throat> I mean, beginning preparations. 
Thanks. I think. Oh, there's that face again. Fine. Your best starting point is to reach the top of the other statues on the Golden Isle, so you can track the missing gods. Find them, and they should be able to help you locate their stolen essences. Although... they haven't been themselves, so I'm really not sure. Um... what's that mean? Guess you'll find out. Phoenix, think. What would my brother do? Legiron would probably take on Typhon single-handedly. Like when he bested the entire Spartan fleet! Who am I kidding? I'm in way over my head. This is where you train? Oh gods, no. What a waste of me time. Just cheat using Zeus's lightning to enhance your muscles and stamina. That's what I do. You're an inspiration. I get that a lot. What's this? Not sure. Hades had it delivered. Deposit an offering for the ferryman, and unexpected help could very well arrive. Be careful, though. Argo broke the last gift from the underworld, and look what happened to him. Who's Argo? Exactly. Is this Hephaestus' forge? You're cute. Try not to impale yourself on anything. But Phoenix wasn't listening. He was drawn to the forge by a hidden force. The adamantine he'd gathered, calling out to be reshaped. There's that wonderful smell again. Ambrosia is life. 
You want increased protection? Distill it here and drink up. Then enjoy the ride. One time, Athena downed that whole Kelex and destroyed the entire Greek fleet right after she had sided with them in battle. It was epic. Sorry. Guess you just had to be there. Many of my relatives were. They died. And I told Athena not to do that. But did she listen? No. <sighs> nice cauldron! Phoenix let the empty compliment die in the ensuing silence, and instead tried to focus on potential potion recipes. Those are a few ideas for ways to stick it to Typhon. You mortals seem to need an incentive, so I'll pay you Electrum for accomplishing each. And since I'm the god of merchandise, you can spend it right here on, you guessed it, merchandise. Ooh, creative. Or you could always just pay me your own Electrum. I thought the incentive was for me. I'm the god of financial gain. Those prices? Wow! I'm also the god of thieves. We all have our vices. What's that underneath? It's a chore chart. Someone has to get Ares to clean up after himself. Ever tried to get blood out of a sea of blood? Now that is a feat. Any Electrum burning a hole in your pocket? Ooh, is this where the gods get their dental exams? No, it's where we rip off our skin to change our appearance. Huh, still better than visiting the dentist. Thank you. 
Phoenix stumbled upon a winged creature, easily mistaken for a fairy. However, its true identity would soon be revealed. So, what is it? Phoenix would need to free it to find out. Yeah, but you can tell me now. Can you please respect my narrative pacing? As Phoenix freed the small creature imprisoned on the aisle, she let out a cry, which meant, great hero, I am but a piece of Nike, the goddess of victory. Please free the others, so I may return to my full glory. They won't win without Nike. She's like a glove or a, a thing you wear that protects you while running. A helmet. Ah, 
the Valley of Eternal Spring. Its highlights include a massive tree that reaches up to the heavens. The Hall of the Gods. Eros's palace. Oh, I'm glad he finally got his happy ending. And a palace belonging to the goddess of beauty herself. Of course, Aphrodite would claim the prime real estate with the best view. As long as she's safe from prying eyes, I'm happy. From such great heights, a fluttering of birds, feeding from the most beautiful apple tree, caught Phoenix's eye. Phoenix was about as high as I was when I thought marrying Aphrodite off to Hephaestus would stop the other gods from fighting over her. Yes, that view from Mount Olympus is something else. I haven't seen it in years. You're not getting that high again, so stop asking! You wouldn't happen to be... Aphrodite. Why, yes, I am. Pleasure to humbly make your acquaintance. Phoenix, sorry, I'm just such a fan. You're responsible for some of the most epic love stories of all time. I have to admit, I wasn't expecting a tree, but even in your, uh, arboreal state, you're beautiful. That's sweet of you to say, but the only mirror I gaze into these days reflects the happy smiles of the creatures I help. Oh, if only I could travel to those most in need. But, alas, my roots keep me anchored here. So that's why Typhon did this to you. So you can't use your beauty to move ships or inspire bravery in battle against him. Me? Start a war? I don't know where you get such outlandish ideas. True beauty is found in acts of service. True love is the giving of yourself to others. The name Aphrodite should have stood for those things all along. She did not just say that. I am reformed now. My old essence locked away in a vault wedged under my largest root, <laughs> which is for the best. Maybe I could get that essence back for you. I'm going to need allies to go up against Typhon. We have the hungry to think about. You said you need to free yourself from your roots. To feed the hungry, of course. Well, my roots were as a pretty bad farmer, so I know how to hurt plants. Salt, it shrivels them up. Oh, would that work? But of course, my roots are not ordinary. They're primal. 
powerful. So we'll need uh, mythical salt water. Oh, oh! This is in the prophecy. A pearl in rough seas. You are a pearl born from rough seas. The salty sea foam from your birth. Yes. What an inspired proposal. But I couldn't possibly trouble a stranger to recreate the conditions of my birth. What if a stranger asked to be troubled? Mm. If a stranger asked to be troubled, then I suppose I wouldn't really be troubling them at all. Here's how to conjure seafoam from my birthplace. I already know all about this. Mom loved this story. Grandpappy Uranus threw a pearl into the sea. The sea churned into foam, and Aphrodite rose up out of it. A pearl? Grandpappy? I'm not sure that's how it... That's definitely the story. Okay. I'm sure that's how it went uh, down. Got it. Knock a pearl into the ocean really hard. That sounds simple enough. Oh, thank you, Phoenix. I'll be serving fresh apples to the less fortunate across the Golden Isle in no time. Well, this is weirder than the time Demeter turned that kid into a lizard. Aphrodite, sweet and charitable. No more mischief? Isn't that what you were aiming for when you married her off to Hephaestus against her will? Hey now, it wasn't. I mean, she knew I was doing it for her own good. Locked all the Cyclopes away with the other Titans, huh? Yes. 
He was afraid they'd overthrow him. There was a prophecy. Bored. Grandpa made the right call. Those things are an eyesore. <laughs> Get it? Uh, the birth of Aphrodite is a gruesome tale. Nothing gruesome about it. Grandpa Uranus and my deadbeat dad, Kronos, had a battle so great it severed heaven from Earth. <sighs> That's not all that was severed. During his surprise attack, Kronos descended on Uranus. When Earth was severed from heaven, there was a great earthquake that knocked a pearl loose from its oyster. Hang on, there was no... <clears throat> the pearl flew from its oyster on land, and Uranus caught it and flung it out to sea with such a force that it caused the frothy foam to bubble. <sighs>
From the sea fold, Aphrodite rose, full grown, beautiful as that same pearl. I can't take this anymore. Zeus, Gaia lied to you about how Aphrodite was born. Oh yeah? Then tell me how it really happened. And Kronos, they fought. You can't be serious. <laughs> Fell into the sea. That's... Because Kronos cut off yeah. his... <gasps> You're sick, Prometheus. Do not talk to me! With the sea foam secure, ah. Phoenix resolved to return to Aphrodite with the key to her freedom and the vault. You've returned, you sweet creature. <gasps> Do you have the sea foam? Right here. Oh, aren't you good? Please, take my blessing for all your hard work. Now quick, pour the foam on my roots. The sooner I can move, the sooner I can expand my apple care. Did it work? Coming out of the foam, I was so <gasps> fabulous. No, there's too many cuddly creatures that need my help. It keeps me awake at night, just seeing their little beaks and bright eyes. And those noses, those quivering wet noses.
What just happened? Typhon must not like you, though I couldn't possibly imagine why. Whenever anyone defies him, he sends one of his raids. And that raid delegates responsibility, as raids tend to do, to Shades. So the warrior that just appeared wasn't really Achilles? Goodness, no! The true Achilles is far more dashing. Oh, you're telling me. He's hiding in a lair nearby. Until he's defeated, his shades will reappear on this part of the island. Is there ever any good news? Well, the sea foam worked and uh, I'm able to move my roots. One of them was actually blocking Achilles' lair. I can't help but the other three raids, though, Heracles, Atalanta, and Odysseus. Oh, you know what they say. Bad things come in fours. No one says that. No one says that. Tough crowd. What about the root blocking your essence? It's just that some people I care about have been turned into stone, so I'm quite keen to... Nope. No. Uh, for some reason, that root is still firmly in place. Uh, thank you for your concern. But what matters is I can start delivering apples. All the animals will be fed in no time. Let's get to it. Thank you kindly for all your help. Many happy returns. But I... That was strange. I can't keep standing idly by. Sorry, I mean busily preparing anymore. You have to bring Aphrodite back to her beautiful, snarky self before I go crazy. By the gods, where did you come from? Behind you? Does it matter? Don't worry about me. Focus on finding another way to shrivel that root. So what? Saltier, more mythical water? Actually, wait. What about Aphrodite's tears? Didn't she cry at the death of Adonis? They'd be salty and powerful. You really know your stories, kid. Her tears just might work. If you put them directly on the root, blocking off her essence. Now where did Typhon hide them? You should search the vaults of Tartarus nearby. There are three crystallized tears. All right, we have a plan then. Please hurry. Until Aphrodite is back to herself, who will I talk to about whatever this is that you're wearing? What's wrong with what I'm wearing? And he's gone. Thank you.
Typhon had cruelly left the tears Aphrodite cried for her lost love in the very place Adonis was locked away from her. That poor go-go boy, boo-hoo, please! I was just down in the underworld with Hades for nearly a month, and let me tell you, it's slaves! So that's where you were during the Typhon attack? I had to sample the new Lethian wine vintage. You know how it is. I kept forgetting to leave.
No tear weighs so heavily as a tear of love, and so no tear had ever been as heavy as this. The tear from the broken heart of the goddess of love. Ah, uh, bah! Like Aphrodite is the first person to ever go through a breakup. Zeus, it wasn't a breakup. He died. I... True. Phoenix could have sworn the tears Aphrodite shed in grief for Adonis somehow weighed heavier when brought out of the underworld. Sure is quiet. That's not the worst, I guess. Hephaestus whining, Athena and Aphrodite bickering, Ares losing his cool. Let me know if you're in the market for anything.
Phoenix carefully approached the vault guarded by boars. Boars not unlike the one that mauled Adonis to death. You sure Adonis wasn't bored to death listening to one of your stories?
here, Phoenix found the tear that marked the tragic final moments of Adonis. The love Aphrodite felt for him would never die. All right, all right. She was sad. I get it. have bested the mortal Adonis, the vault guarded by boars did not best our mortal hero. There's that smile again. Enjoying yourself? Always. Except when that eagle is eating my liver. Oh, that's when I'm enjoying myself. Deserve my perfection, but I am kind. Adonia. Ah! The smelliest of festivals. Totally appropriate for Adonis. He didn't belong with Aphrodite. She was better than him. Adonia was a celebration of women's self-expression. They would dance on the rooftops, bringing scented plants like fennel and cabbage to their parties. In the spirit of Adonia, isn't it Aphrodite's choice who she loves? Not when it's rotten. Like that smell. And yet, the women of these villages let it waft from the rooftops, year after year. Maybe the freedom to make the choice is what matters. Felix would have to participate in the festival, to open up to Adonia, if the vault itself was to open. That little turn of phrase and you light up like a pomegranate tree. Oh, I see you, Prometheus. You have your pleasures, and I have mine.
Within the vault, Phoenix found one of the tears Aphrodite shed over Adonis. I really don't think Adonis was worth all this time. He was just a pretty face.
Phoenix left the vault victorious, tear in hand, smelling only faintly of cavern. With all three tears collected, Phoenix set off to shrivel Aphrodite's most stubborn root and open her vault. Ah, uh, yes. Too easy, forget it. Hoping to shrivel the root to unblock the vault, Phoenix sprinkled the tears. No! <laughs> Adonis, my love! Why does my mind dwell on you? What? What's happening to me? <laughs> Oops! I'd better go find Aphrodite. Aphrodite really loved Adonis. Yeah. I married her off to Hephaestus. Yes, Adonis meant the world to her. I let that boar kill him. You did what? I mean, I didn't kill him, but I didn't try to save him either. Yeah. I didn't listen to Aphrodite. Yeah! 
Aphrodite, please, just tell me what's wrong. Well, I appreciate that you were trying to help me. There was really no need to trouble yourself. I just thought if we could move the route, I could get I your... I can move the route any time I want! Well, since you watered my roots with the sea foam, that is... So, thank you, but there is no need to concern yourself with my essence. Wait, I've been putting up with all this, the tears, the horrific niceness, for no reason? You're undead to me. Hermes, all my pettiest jealousies and all my most self-absorbed beliefs are locked away. Why would I ever want to be reunited with them? Sure, you weren't the most charitable person, but that's not everything. Remember all the fun we had gossiping about the other gods? Making fun of the ugly Sasha's hair I wears to parties? That mustard sash made her look like a shriveled carrot! <laughs> no! No! It was all time wasted! I could... I should have been more... I never measured up! What in Hades are you talking about, never measured up? By whose standard? What's she talking about? I can't imagine. It's no use. She won't hear reason. Try insulting some other gods. No, it would only be fun for me. Acts of charity are all good and necessary, but not from Aphrodite. Her spice made the world interesting. She added a zing to things, you know? She literally changed the world. I mean, she started the Trojan War, and all so she could be named the most beautiful. That's it. I don't know if we have time to start a war, Hermes. No, no! We'll bring her the prize her vanity won her. Something she wanted so much, she let the world go to war for it. If she sees it, maybe she'll want her old zing back. The Apple of Discord! The Apple of Discord! I'll find it as soon as I can. Good. She's boring right now. I can't make one remark about what Persephone is doing with her hair before she starts prattling on about the needy. I miss the old Aphrodite.
Aphrodite's palace, the most majestic sight on the Golden Isle skyline. I don't know if it's the most majestic. There's one mountain in particular I think is pretty regal.
Athena, if Paris had known the Trojan War was coming, maybe he would have taken the battle wisdom you promised him in exchange for the apple. But alas... Ha-ha! Time paradox! Wow, you're smarter than I gave you credit for. Oh, oh, oh sorry. I, uh, nodded off for a second. What was that? <sighs> never mind. The Apple of Discord. All Hades broke loose over that thing. Three goddesses, toe to toe, for the title of most beautiful. Ah, but our hero knew the apple symbolized more to Aphrodite than a self-regard worthy of Narcissus. That's why she had to win. Oh yeah? What did Phoenix think it symbolized? Freedom. Aphrodite, I have something for you. I've had enough of your gifts. What I mean to say is, I'm only here to give, not to receive. But it's another apple for your collection. It's so beautiful. I want it. <laughs> Did you know the Trojan War could have been avoided if Eris had been invited to Peleus and Thetis's wedding? What? I thought it had something to do with Troy and Greece! 
The shade Eris was throwing, how did I not put two and two together? The best parties are the ones that the goddess of Discord shows up to uninvited. Everyone knows that. Can't fight! To think Hera pulled Athena's hair over an apple. Her own daughter. Ah, right! The beauty contest! What moron appointed that blowhard Paris the judge? I'm looking at him. To be fair, I'd had a lot to drink. It wasn't Paris's fault. Hera offered to make him king of Asia and give him great riches. Athena offered great glory and renown in war. But show me a god or mortal who could resist Aphrodite's bribe of true love. Yeah, sure. It was Helen of Sparta's love Paris was after. So he did exactly what you asked and chose the most beautiful woman. Then, you know, started the Trojan War. I wanted to win that apple so badly. I wanted to win that apple so badly I started a war for it! To show Zeus! Everything that came after was my fault. You are acting according to your nature, Aphrodite. Which is exactly why I'm better off without my essence. My nature caused only pain. That's where you're wrong, Aphrodite. You can't have one side of the coin without the other. Your passion, your unpredictability, and, I'll say it, your jealousy, your vanity. Yes, they caused pain, but you know what else they did? <laughs> what? They created some of the greatest adventures, the greatest epics, the greatest stories the world will ever see. I'm a storyteller, I know. Sure, we would all be safer if we just stayed at home. But everything's more beautiful in color. The passion is worth the pain. Oh, in that boat are my unfiltered jealousies and darkest natures. If I let you in, everyone will judge me. I've been judged before. Aphrodite, rein it in. Aphrodite, you're too much work. Aphrodite, you're too much trouble. Aphrodite, you're too much! Whoever said that owes you an apology. What a jerk! I never meant it like that. Didn't you? You don't have to compete for my or anyone's love. You are enough. Anyway, if you're that beautiful and have a perfect personality too, well... Honestly, it's just annoying at that point. <laughs> All right. I'll move my root. Please, take this blessing before you go in there. You can find me at the Hall of the Gods. Get off me, all of you! It's enough already! Why don't you just go get a job? I had no idea Hermes and Aphrodite were so close. They even had a child together. No way. Good boy or girl? No. Ah, I see. The child was non-binary. <laughs> Look at you. Prometheus, I have an Amphora collection. I'm with it. Yeah. Heracles wore it better than her. There, I said it. Ah! 
with herself. That's twisted. Phoenix realized the seeds had to be burned to clear the air. I'm coming, Aphrodite. Let's get rid of these seeds.
Baby Buzz. Eros needs to calm down and bow down. There's only room on Olympus for one. <laughs> Back in with your mother, half a year, isn't the changing of the seasons. She's using you. Grow up! Light my fire! Ah! <sighs> 
has me locked down, but I'm out here to play. Woo! Hot as an eternal flame! You'll be back to yourself soon, Aphrodite. Telling her to fix that crow's nest, she pretends fast for air. Girl, that helmet ain't doing you any favors. Yeah.
ashes. Great balls of fire! That's the last seed. Time to get Aphrodite back to her free spirit itself. As if I could ever love a man like Hephaestus. I need mean, that face alone to seek a thousand ships. Oh, and down below. Oh, save us no time. I didn't mean to put so much pressure on Aphrodite. Sometimes we think we're showing love for someone, when really, we're fulfilling our own needs through them. So you're saying I actually need someone to protect me? Not exactly, but... It's so true. I've always had to stay strong for everyone. No one ever takes care of me. Prometheus, it's so hard. I'd hug you, but I'm chained to a rock. He married me off to the first safe person that proposed. I deserve better than his vessels. Not fair. He kind of held me hot. Which was pretty impressive. I thought, this guy is some material. He was already your son. Well, that was the only moment he lived up to it. I am the fairest goddess of them all. I proved it. By winning the Apple of Discord, my future should be celebrated, not locked away. Perfume wafted past. That smell. It's like embarrassment, power, and fear all in one. <laughs> <laughs> 
It was Aphrodite's essence. It's pure, unadulterated snark. by the jealous thoughts echoing inside the vault. Phoenix was determined to reunite Aphrodite with her essence. You're definitely bringing some life back to this dusty old hall, Aphrodite. Plant life, but life. <laughs> if I rustle a bit, squirrels usually come running. And there's a nest up in one of my branches, so bird soon. How soon? Well, a few months, maybe. Ah, exciting. Let me know if you're in the market for anything. I'm here selling, if you're buying. I told you I'd get your essence back. I didn't doubt that. But do you see me differently now that you've heard all my worst thoughts? Not at all. I'm excited to meet the real you. Because honestly, Hermes's hair is a bit much right now. Wait, what? Okay. Then I'm ready.
May your passion and love forever be boundless. Rise, golden goddess Aphrodite. Speechless? I know. Can you believe you actually had to convince me to return to this body? Oh, without you, I would have lost the ability to love myself forever. Actually, I stole that years ago. Clearly. Looks like you've been loving yourself far too much. Oh, you might want to disinfect that toga. Oh, glad you're back. Please, Phoenix. Take my final blessing as thanks. Ready to defeat Typhon? I'm more than ready to take down the ugly beast that stole my beauty. But there is one other thing I could use your help with. What can I do? There are four mythical beasts Typhon brought out of Tartarus to terrorize the creatures of the Golden Isle. If you could end their reign by defeating them in battle, I would be extremely grateful. Uh, normally I wouldn't care, but I guess I'm going soft. I'll take care of it. Of course you will. Any Electrum burning a hole in your pocket?
Typhon corrupted the Nemean lion after that jock Heracles skinned it? You know when Heracles couldn't slay it, he strangled it with his own hands? Sounds about right. Hera unleashed the lion to torture mortals. Sometimes that woman really turns me off. Barely made it out of that one. This rooster was once the great Electrion. Helios is annoying bird that screeches every time the sun comes up. So very well. <laughs> Knock him dead, Phoenix. That dumb bird is the last thing I want to hear after party with Dionysus. <laughs> Thank the gods I survived. <laughs> You're looking more beautiful than ever, Aphrodite. Though I love you. Oh, really? I do. Do you know why roses are red? I'm about to find out. When the boar mortally wounded Adonis, Aphrodite cried over his body in a meadow filled with flowers. 
Tears mixed with Adonis's blood and painted the flowers there. Violets are blue. The flowers held their breath waiting for you to finish one of your stories. I can still hear the screams of mortals fleeing while the Caledonian boar ravaged their countryside and destroyed all their harvests. All because King Onius forgot to make an offering to Artemis. <sighs> that was a tough battle. <sighs>
Do you recognize Callisto, Zeus? She was such a vivacious woman. Too bad Hera turned her into a bear. Yes, almost as bad as you tricking Callisto into a romantic bliss with you by pretending to be Artemis. Nothing wrong with some good arrow play. How was I supposed to know Hera would find out? Only that she does. Every single time. Finally, all of the mythical beasts were defeated. Aphrodite would be pleased. I defeated Typhon's beasts, like you asked. Oh, that's so good to hear. Any chance you saved some of their hides? I, I, I could use a new coat. Uh, no, I did not. I'll just pick them up myself. Those creatures were an eyesore, but their fur was exquisite. You didn't just ask me to kill them in order to make a coat, did you? Of course not. What do you take me for? Hermes, the furs are ready. Finally! Here you go, Phoenix. A reward.
Hey there. You're in bad shape. Too proud to quit, huh? Well, so am I. Phoenix! Stay away from that... thing! What are you doing here? I saw the lightning strike. Naturally, I came right away to finish the job. Easy kills are a specialty of mine. Why am I not surprised? Well, I'm saving the bird. And I won't take no for an answer. No! It's a creature of Typhon! Wait, I'm having a vision. You're going to say... But it needs our help. Then I'll say... It's just waiting to kill us as soon as it has the chance! Then you'll say... Hermes, please, don't make me blackmail you. I'll tell Hera what you did. Then I'll say... You wouldn't. But I know deep down you would, so I agree to help you. All the while, looking for an opportunity, as soon as you let your guard down, to strike! Well, you got me cornered, kid. For now. Since Typhon brought that thing out of Tartarus, you'll need food from down there to revive it. The same food Hades fed to Persephone. Seeds of the dead. I only know of one on the island. Then I'm going to get that seed. Sit tight. Me or the bird? Because I don't think that thing can sit.
Hey, proud guy, I've got the... seed. I'm sorry, kid. Come on, we'll go get some drumsticks. They're on me. Oh, well, that makes things easy. We got the drumsticks right here. Hey there, proud fellow. Kind of a stuck-up rare breed Typhon lit on fire, huh? If you please, Your Excellency. I'm going to name him Phosphor. After Phosphorus, the morning star. Phosphor says that he's still weak and needs to regain more strength. He'd like to offer to help you on your journey to repay the debt for saving his life. He, uh, <clears throat> also loves the new nickname. <laughs> like, really loves it. Don't you, Fospo? I told you this was the right decision. Helping an evil undead bird? Brilliant. <laughs> I take it all back. You were totally on the money. That beautiful bird is offering to take us to Daedalus's secret treasure room. No way! The genius inventor who built this island. The one and only. He says there's a pile of Electrum with my name on it. <laughs> oh, yes. There's also a second seed of the dead that can make Phospho stronger than ever. Would you look at that? Doing good deeds results in good deeds in return. Who would have thought? Is that a trick question? Because the answer is clearly, no one. So, there are two clues that lead to this treasure room we need to find. And by we, I mean you. One is near the Dracon Bones, the second is near the Aqueduct. Isn't that right, Phospho? I told you, he adores his new nickname, right?
Guardian of the city. With Ares, she loves deeds of war and the shouting of battle. She saves the people as they go to war and back. Goddess, give us good fortune with happiness. Atta girl! Athena, as tremendous as in all the stories. Hope you don't mind that I'm scaling your mighty Aegis. Her shield-like Aegis celebrated Athena's dominance in strategic matters of war. It's my Aegis, you know. So it's also a symbol of Athena's love for Papa Zeus. If you say so, Athena's own skill inspired the Greeks to create beautiful clothing and tapestry. She should have inspired them to create an elevator. And of course, your owl. It's a pleasure. Phoenix knew the owl represented the wisdom of Athena. Wisdom she shared with mortal heroes on their quests. Seems like a waste of good wisdom. This land was bathed in Athena's wisdom, filled with temples dedicated to her skill and judgment. Sites of ancient mystery and dangers untold. Nice. What's the rent like in this neighborhood? Phoenix beheld a magnificent structure, the Archives. A place to study the heroics and strategies of past glories. Ah, that will be where Athena is then. She's got my tactical mind, you know. But you love all your children equally, of course. Ha! <laughs> Good one! Huh? <sighs> 
Did you know they have a rigorous process to ensure the authenticity of every document submitted? If you're trying to wipe out my desire to live, it's working. Phoenix walked through the archives. Crumbled statues of fallen heroes underfoot. Because why wouldn't you just walk through a creepy, half-destroyed temple? Phoenix is a hero, Zeus. <laughs> a hero is what they call a mortal who dies. Hello? Is someone there? <sighs> Come out and face me! I don't want to come out! Ah, except I just did! Why did I listen to you? A child? I'm not a child! I'm Athena! Athena? Oh! Oh! The goddess of wisdom! The prophecy! A wise child convinced. That's making a lot more sense now. Oh, wow. You have no idea how much I've wanted to meet you. But why are you so small and angry? You'd be angry too if Typhon shrank you, then sent the Hydra after you. I heard your footsteps and thought you were his snaky faced jerk. Well, I'm not a Hydra. But I am a huge fan of yours. Gods, I have so much I want to ask you. Did you really beat up Ares in the Trojan War? 
What? Oh, sure. Twice. Wow. And were you really the judge during the trial? Look, sorry, what was your name? I'm Phoenix. I can't believe I'm meeting the real Athena, even if she is a little girl. Uh, little goddess? Were you going to call me little girl? I was, yes. That would have gone badly. I get that. Okay. So I'm willing to accept that you're not a Hydra. But that means there's still a super fierce Hydra out there after me. Where did Typhon hide your essence? If you were restored, that Hydra wouldn't stand a chance. And we'd be one step closer to turning everyone back from stone. That's it! That's the first step! The champion volunteers, brave of heart, and questionable of fashion! Wait, what? I've been waiting for you! Only the mortal champion can walk the path of the heroes to free Kronos' Staff of Time! Staff of Time? Yes! It contains the power of the God of Time! With it, we'll be able to defeat Typhon and reverse the flow of time to cancel the Stone Curse! Without the staff, we're lost! Oh, wow! You have a plan to get it! Kronos lost it in the River of Time. It will only appear to the true champion who walks the path. The next step is to kill the Hydra. I could help with that. I've done weirder things on this island. Okay, great. That's all settled. You be my champion and go kill that super scary Hydra. Wow, that happened fast. A minute ago, you tried to crush me with a statue. Yeah, but that's how fate works, champion. Step one to championing is go get that Hydra. Okay, bye. That's deep. Is there any further wisdom that okay, I should- Okay, bye! How clever of Athena to think of the staff of Cronus. She's always on the ball, that one. I didn't know you were familiar with it. Of course. Usually, she'd ask my advice, but I was away at the time. What a loss. Phoenix beheld the fearsome stone heads of the Hydra. Fanged faces, straight out of a nightmare. You should see Hera when she's mad.
Fierce Hydra fell to Phoenix. A triumph on par with the feats of heroes. Wow! Athena wasn't kidding. That was a snaky faced jerk. Well, it wasn't easy, but that Hydra won't be a problem anymore. What's the next step on the path? Uh, next... 
the, 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 the champion to be is supposed to aid the winged outcast. The winged outcast? Oh, the bird I rescued. I've already done that. This is going great. Wow, you're really excited about having saved a bird. That's weird. You're weird, but good. A weird champion is still a champion. I mean, I did more than just save a bird. You did it! Hydra Gonzo and Wingy Thingy helped. Um, what was the... Oh, yeah! So the next step on the path is to become like the great heroes. And heroes get blessings! Thank you, Athena. Uh-huh. Big stuff, right? You'll be a hero just like Atalanta, Achilles, Odysseus, and Heracles. And then, the stuff will be yours. Okay. So what's next? Uh... What was it? Oh, that's right. Study the paths of the heroes and follow in their footsteps. Nice. Then what? Then what? A fire without wind burns for no one. Huh, that's so wise. You're saying I need to focus on the now. Go do a thing! Learn the hero lessons! Phoenix came upon the forest of Atalanta, a woman known for her stubborn refusal to marry and her legendary skill in the hunt for the Caledonian boar. Look, I've been married a bunch. She might have been onto something. I'm sure your wives would agree. Stubborn Atalanta. First to strike and first to action. How Atalanta's arrow was the first to pierce the hide of the Caledonian boar. Her story was a remarkable triumph of perseverance after her father abandoned her in the woods and she was raised by bears. All because she was a girl. The gods, I, myself, would never do something like that. Just ask a thing. If I can get a word in edgewise. During the Great War with Troy, 
The rage of Achilles devastated the Trojan forces before his exposed heel proved his downfall. For a mortal, he got stuff done. What a wrecking ball. But so tender. You felt like you could just open your heart to him. Zeus? He was no god, but game recognized game. That's all I'm saying, you know. Uh-huh. Confident Achilles, the river Styx protected you from all. But alas, not all of you was protected. was furious with King Agamemnon. Oh, I remember that. He stopped fighting for the Greeks. With disastrous consequences, but yes, the will of mortals should not be underestimated. Stubborn pride defeated Achilles long before that arrow pierced his mortal heel to meet us. But his courage and determination live on.
After studying two of the heroes, Phoenix's head was swimming with their histories. He found himself admiring the statue of Achilles. Oh, who wouldn't? Look at him! Hey, Achilles. You must have learned a lot on your adventures, huh? Or maybe you didn't need to learn anything. Guys like you and my brother, maybe you just know what to do. Well, so what if it's not easy? You weren't perfect, but look at everything you did. And with Athena guiding me. Thanks, buddy. Good talk. I'll keep trying. And you watch that heel, huh? was to truly free the corrupted heroes from Typhon's grasp. Cunning Odysseus, you outsmarted the nation, angered the god of the sea, and won back the heart of your love. When the Greeks had given up hope of winning the war with Troy, the sure wisdom of Athena inspired Odysseus.
I'll admit, I like that bit when Odysseus told the Cyclops his name was Nobody. Then, when he put his eye out, the big dummy was all, Oh, nobody has blinded me! Determined Odysseus did not abandon his long journey home. Though his path was difficult, he saw it through. For a mortal, he did all right. I'll give him that. I'm not unreasonable. Of Heracles. Having to work for King Eurystheus must have sucked. You felt bad for Heracles? No, nah, he needed to atone, but the king, adding the apples and Cerberus to the original ten labors, was kind of a jerk move. Lion, Hyder of Lerna, Crenian Hind, Aramanthian Boar, Stables of Aegeus, Stymphalian Birds, Cretan Bull, Man-Eating Horses, Belt of Hippolyta, Cattle of Geryon, Golden Apples of the Asperides, and Cerberus.
The twelfth and final labor of Heracles, to capture the vicious pet of Hades and guardian of the underworld, Cerberus. Oh, I remember that. That was epic. And to think he accomplished it while he was mortal. Many human flaws. He was quick to anger, he cheated on his wife, he was boastful and proud. He failed! He kicked a lot of ass! For a mortal, you mean? Yeah, right, of course.
Athena. Oh, hi, Phoenix. How's the uh, championing? The heroes were so stubborn. And they had their flaws, but they were so sure of themselves. In some ways, their flaws were what made them great. Sure, sure, sounds great. Super wise stuff. Is there something over by that temple? No, you stay away from that temple! Uh, staying away is a lesson too. And wisdom, and fate, all the things. You leave the wisdom stuff to me. Meet me at the Moria Tree Sanctuary when you're ready. The Staff of Time is nearly yours. That was weird, right? You guys thought that was weird. No? Temple key. And it's Athena's symbol. This must be what she was looking for. Oh, I get it. This is my own hero puzzle. She gave me the clue and put this here for me to find. So I figure out my own path, just like the heroes. Good boys, stay. When Phoenix entered the courthouse, he found twelve chairs. One for each of the twelve Athenians who would decide the fate of the vengeful Orestes. Ah yes, six wanted him surrendered to the Furies, and six felt he should go free. Athena was the one who decided his fate. Priest of Apollo? Oh, hey! You... What are you doing here? Oh, you know... Prophecies... <laughs> Prophesas... <laughs> yeah, I've learned so much since I heard your prophecy. I have so many questions. Oh, man! Everyone has a question. I had to give that tiny god lady a whole big thing before she'd leave me alone. Champion this, champion that. Athena? You mean the path of the heroes? It was a prophecy? Well, not a real one. Not like that freaky thing that happened with you before. But she demanded a plan, you know? So I made one up. You made one up? If the path of the heroes is made up, then how am I supposed to summon the Staff of Time? Oh. Is that what you're trying to do? There is no Staff of Time, is there? I was the champion. This was supposed to be my fate. Maybe. But, like, sometimes there's a reason for the things that happen, and we don't even know, you know? Maybe it's a fake prophecy, but your actual destiny. Who can say? An oracle? Yeah, good luck finding one of those. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go. See you again, buddy. Will you? I never know, honestly. <laughs> You 
thought, I thought the staff of Taibu was real. Got you, Prometheus. Uh-huh. In fact, you were the one deceived. Uh, how can that be if uh, I am the one telling the story in which the reveal occurred? I use the staff of Taibu to change the story so <clears throat> that it doesn't exist. What's Phoenix up to? Athena blessed mortals with many gifts. The temple of Athena is where mortals came to return the favor. Finally, you say something that makes sense. Mortals aren't good for much, but I too like the presence. Sacrifices? Athena, you're okay! Why do you have a knife? To make you the champion! Didn't you learn anything in the hero puzzles? All the heroes failed. But then they became better and stronger. We're going to go straight to that part. Ha! <laughs> you mean the part where they became race? The prophecy says that my champion must become like the heroes of old and new to summon the Staff of Time. And the heroes of old are all race! Athena, wait! That oracle is a fraud! You've been duped with a false prophecy! It's... A, it's a real prophecy! She said with the Staff we can... We'll be big and strong! Use the stuff to beat Typhon and reverse time. How, Athena? After we're corrupted, then what? We'll be slaves to Typhon. There is no staff. in you. You're the goddess of wisdom. Everyone looks to you for judgment and strategy. Is this your path? What someone else told you? <laughs> I don't know. Zeus used to tell me what to do. That's right. We're the perfect team. That's why she loves me. But you didn't always take his advice. 
You knew better. The nerve of this mortal. Athena, we need real judgment to beat Typhon. Not a flimsy magic staff. Something solid, like that temple. My temple? Oh, I could use the power of my temple to open where my essence is. But it would have to be cleansed. I don't know if it's worth it. That temple is just like you. It's glorious, but it's lessened. Don't make fun of me! I'm not. I'm going to show you what I mean. First, we need to restore your temple. But why? Because I'm stubborn. Like you used to be. Wait! Take my blessing. I was going to give it to you anyway. To make you a better... You know... Ray. Good luck, Phoenix. Who needs luck? We've got wisdom on our side. Mortals store food called grain in granaries, overseen by Demeter who is also in charge of the mysteries of the afterlife. Hades alive! We gave her all the pointless jobs. Maybe we could just combine them. The mysteries of the afterlife are basically serious. Typhon corrupts everything he touches, doesn't he? Well, it's time to clean it up. Yeah! 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 
sword of Orestes. Athena judged him for his transgressions, and the Arrhenius themselves had to accept her word. Look, Athena was born straight from my forehead, okay? People listen when she speaks. is a reminder that Athena is more strategic and steadfast in her tactics than Ares. And they were! She stomped him in the Trojan War! You know she had her own flautist following her around playing battle songs? She stomped him with her own soundtrack! And now for a proper offering. The Owl Key, symbol of Athena. Look, Athena. This is who you are. Who you need to be again. But I wasn't even right all the time. And Zeus always tried to butt in with his judgments. You were sure of yourself. You chose your own path. Being open to every plan means that you're going to end up following a patchwork mess. You're right! I hated it when Zeus told me what to do, because I knew better! He drove me up the wall! No, what are you saying, Athena? This... this can't be! I was only trying to help! Old favorites die hard. But it was so tough! I had to know and decide so much! I don't know if I'm ready to take on that weight again! We'll face Typhon together this time, but we need you! to be the whole you. You're right. I need to be big again. I need all of me. Final blessing. You've earned it. Come. There. I've opened the way to my essence. But it's scary down there. Leave this part to your champion. Can you wait for me in the Hall of the Gods? I guess... Hermes better not make fun of me for being little. You're not little, Athena. You are wise and powerful. And soon, we'll make Typhon regret he ever messed with you. Okay! Yeah! We'll team up and we'll, um... Punch his stupid face! Is that a good judgment? Works for me. And if Hermes is annoying while I'm gone, just kick him in the knees. You're the right height. They were always just suggestions. Is that what Athena said? She's not herself right now. She's just being emotional. Maybe for once, instead of talking, you should listen to your daughter. Please, Prometheus. Tell me you made it up. It is the truth, Zeus. I'm her dad. That may be, but it doesn't give you the right to tell her how to do her job. And especially not when she's more qualified than you. Huh? 
defeated Atalanta, couldn't outrun Phoenix's weapon. But now her spirit could run free. And now for a proper offering. The Owl Key, symbol of Athena's wise judgment. Seems appropriate. Father, the heroes are not enough.
Instead of talking over me, Zeus, trust my judgment. <laughs> You. <gasps> Athena's statue stands alone. She's always been there for heroes. They should be there for her. Phoenix realized that Athena's essence had been corrupted yeah. by Typhon. The snake-haired figure on her ages had come to life. Bask in my radiance, let alone touch me.
What was Ares thinking? The fool. Mortals must be shown the way. My way.
Could I have made a mistake? No. It is the others who are wrong. With my strategy, you are invincible.
surrounded by all four You don't want to help your mother? Oh, this You're no hero. Maybe you're not. I'm fit to sit in judgment.
ZD, you vain idiot! Listen to me. You know I'm right.
We are here for you, Athena. You don't have to stand alone. Together, we will defeat Typhon. You'll never stand against the darkness. You're right! I'll never stand alone! But all together, we'll hold each other up! This form is temporary, Aphrodite. It's just that if one wants to be taken seriously, one must look the part. Looks don't do that. The mind does. Of course, of course. Your mind specifically can accomplish wonders, the big old thing. Well, thanks. But the face is the window to the soul or something. If you feel powerful, you are powerful. I guess that's true. Let me teach you to braid your hair. It'll change your life. That could be fun. Perfect. Then we're getting Hephaestus to invent the lawnmower so we can tackle those brows.
Let me know if you're in the market for anything. Any electrum running a hole in your pocket? Ha! Huh. You got it? My... essence? Just like we planned. Are you ready? I... I think so.
wise Athena. Gods and mortals will work as one. With your guidance, leading us all. Although, you could have been quicker about it, honestly. And those wings you're wearing, they're a safety hazard. Daedalus' designs are shoddy and ill-conceived. And while we're talking about shoddy and ill-conceived, you, Hermes... Oh, here we go. She's always got something to say. Oh, Athena! Glad you're back. But maybe... uh... <sighs> yes. Maybe it's time for me to be more judicious with all these judgments. You know, I really admire you. You're critical, but you're also wise, most of the time. Thank you, Phoenix. And together, we'll begin on a new wise plan. But, um, we can still punch Typhon in the face, right? Phoenix learned that being critical, judgmental, even stubborn, is not always a flaw. It can give one the surety needed to refuse bad counsel. Maybe I should have listened to Athena more often, rather than trying to be right all the time. Perhaps the great Zeus is fallible after all. Ah, uh, no, that's not what I'm saying. My judgments are all pretty great. You... you chained me to a rock! An eagle pecks out my liver every single day! <laughs> I know. I'm here selling, if you're buying. Athena's idea to yoke oxen for plowing served these farms well. The soil was rich, the crops were bountiful. Yeah. 
At the foot of the grand statue was an anvil, itself not a beautiful thing, but the base ah. upon which beautiful things are born. Festus's tongs, which he plunged deep into scorching fires and frigid waters. <laughs> plunged! Only in those extremes could his creations be perfected. What? You know, that's all. <laughs> all the play he's getting, <laughs> because you know all of him <laughs> in the looks department, <laughs> because he's a. <laughs> <laughs> Are you finished? Yes. <laughs> yep. Finally, after much climbing, Phoenix reached Hephaestus's hammer. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'll stop. Tour here or something? The ancient creations, wasted by Typhon's endless appetite for destruction. Oh. Someone down there was alive, working, and seemingly happy. Definitely not Hephaestus, then. That whining, sniveling coward never smiled a day in his life. Have you... Have you listened to a word of this story? Things have changed. Are you? Dialogue. With me. Okay. We plan for this, don't think. Who or what are any of us? We are what we do. 
I am arty, so I'm some kind of artist. Clearly, you are appreciating that art, so are an appreciator. I'm a warrior. Or the sibling of a warrior. I'm warrior adjacent. Anyway, I'm here to stop Typhon. Hmm. That checks out. You didn't look like much of an appreciator, no offense. But maybe this will change your mind. A little box? What? No, that is so my last face. I signed it, though. You can keep it. No need to thank me. I can't read this. You're a sculptor. I scaled your statue. You're Hephaestus, right? I'm so excited to meet you in person. So, not that one. Fine, that's fine. Totally fine. But I have others. Find your essence so we can defeat Typhon. Do you know where it is? No? Confusion or rapture? Are you rapt? This is just my face. How can you art at a time like this? Don't you know what's happening? I think it's safe to say I do not. Typhon? Everyone turned to stone? Gods all lost their essences. Evil monsters everywhere. End of the world! You really have no memory whatsoever? Who needs the past when you can shape the future? It'd be easier to shape the future with hands. Typhon stole them, I assume. Ripped them from your limbs? Tortured you endlessly? Something? You really need to sit down with this Typhon guy. Talk it out. And no, my hands had enough of making art and scurried off together. I'd love to say good riddance to the both of them, but an artist without hands is like an appreciator with a Typhon obsession. Useless. They can't have gone far. And who knows? Maybe if I get them back, they'll jog your memory. Save the applause for when I come back. I could sculpt a tree with happy little tree friends. Do trees have friends? This place looks like a battlefield, or a graveyard. Oh! 
attack! Cleanse this world of divine imperfection! There, near the gates and above the wreckage left in Typhon's wake, Felix spied what looked like a working automaton ahead. Yoink! They say, you can't spend pain without pain. Forgetful automaton thing! Artist works. That's what I said. Look, I found your hands. Industrious, Typhon obsessed appreciator. You are full of surprises. Hold still while I just... What was that? No idea. Still no memory, huh? No. Well, maybe one. I worked there. A pearl in rough seas. Forge fires lit. A wise child convinced. A feather's weight of wit. Forge fires lit? Forge fires lit! Your forge is part of the prophecy. It must be the answer. You have to remember. The Forge! The glowy blessing thingy that just came out of your hands! You are a god! Flattery! I think you're great too. No! An actual god! Back home, I told dozens of different stories about you. Myths, legends, gods, monsters, all of it. You're Hephaestus, the god of the Forge. Remember? I always thought I was a cherry. Paul, maybe. This isn't working. We have to jog your memory to find your essence. I need you to think. How do we start the forge? 
ventilation shafts, tunnel air to pour cold burning furnaces. A network of canals must feed frigid waters through water wheels to the summit. Central combustion is controlled through two mechanisms in the forge core. How do you know that? Know what? Forget it. Unblock vents, start fires, spin water wheels. Then something about mechanisms. Stay here and make sure those hands don't go anywhere. Instead of painting on a pot that has fruit in it, what if the painting is a pot with fruit in it? Yeah! <laughs> So spectacularly crafty. So over it. Just get a room already. Well, I would if I could. Just a scorch and None of those furnaces are burning. There must be something around here I could use to light it. Wow, that flame is hot as Helios. He's not all that.
Just ventilation.
suddenly came flowing through the gate, like the forge itself was taking a breath. So that's what that spell was. I honestly thought it was me. As Phoenix explored Hephaestus' ancient forge, he discovered its most important component, the water wheels. Why does a forge need water? Look, Zeus, I do futures. That's my thing.
The water gushing like torrents of rain. Phoenix was one step closer to freeing the forge from Typhon's grip. Little did Phoenix know, however, that the worst was yet to come. Vents clear, water flowing, furnaces burning. Time to go to the heart of the forge.
for a forge. And that one could be a hammer. Hephaestus has the mightiest hammer ever crafted. <gasps> that glyph, I think it represents this forge. And that one matches the statue outside. These are some kind of clue. was calling me. I couldn't take no way. About that. I cleared the vents, started the fires, and got the water wheels moving. Even unlocked some strange glyphs inside, but nothing happened. Well, I was talking to my hand, says well Dance, and they said they're the key to restarting it. They have to... touch things. Now, we're talking. Zeus. This place is ancient. They say you built this entire fort yourself. Me? But it's so grim, so dirty, and that lighting. Come <laughs> on. 
Hephaestus, come out! Ah, you're okay. What is this? Such pain in his markings. Sorrow? Suffering? Real art. I'd say you were trying to leave us a message. Me? How mixed media? I think past you left a clue to recover your memory. Something Typhon couldn't decipher. Can you read any of it? It's incomplete. Hephaestus, you genius! It is missing a piece. Now, where did I put it? This isn't your signature, Hephaestus. It's the rest of the puzzle. Hammer, a forge's fire, the statue, and this box. Do you know what this is? Of course, he did not know what it was, but in their possession was Pandora's box. You dare to open this again? Chaining you to this rock was your justice for giving fire to mortals. Pandora's box was the mortals' justice. So you forced your son Hephaestus to forge a box capable of unleashing every conceivable evil upon them? That's justice? Hephaestus was happy to oblige. He knew what he was doing. He did what he was ordered to do after you tortured him for his entire existence. Don't you talk about my son! Pandora acted with innocent curiosity by opening that box. You acted with vile contempt! I gave them a warning, and look what happened! Mortals ravaged and defiled their world and each other. Clearly, the warning was not enough. It's finished now. They are stone, and Pandora's box was the beginning of the end. So, first, we need a hammer. Check. Where did you...? Never mind. I think past you is telling us we need to imbue that hammer with the power of the forge's fire. Then, break through here. That is so me. If I'm reading this right, your essence is underneath. But that's not all. I told you what this is. That'll be a box. No. Well, yes. But also, it used to contain every kind of suffering. Enough suffering to fill the world. And you suffered, Hephaestus. A lot. Cast from Mount Olympus. Rejected. Alone. No matter how generous you were. No matter how hard-working. Every god rejected you just because you were different. This box is the final clue. I think Typhon stole your suffering, and that's why you lost your memories. So, to get my memories, to get my talent back... I mean feeling the pain that's been locked away. Go!
extreme heat. Phoenix carried on undeterred, plunging the hammer of Hephaestus into the heart of the fire. Prometheus, this is pushing it. No human could dream of holding that hammer. Or holding your lightning. And yet, absorbing the power of the flames, the hammer came alive. And with it, Phoenix released the second of Hephaestus' blessings. With the hammer revived, and Hephaestus' suffering trapped below, all Phoenix had to do now was jump. chill in the air of the vault, but was more than cold. Ah, sorry, that's my new cologne. It's by Porius, the North Wind. I know, he's my cousin. Oh, and he didn't even hook you up. Ice cold. The air moves so strangely. I wonder if I could use that to help me get around. It looks like I can change the wind's direction. No! I can change! I be the son you want!
Just as you had packaged the torments of the world to so kindly give to humanity, Phoenix would trap Hephaestus' torments inside Pandora's box. His suffering, his tortured inspirations. My kid's an artist! What can I say? From that day, the malice inflicted upon Hephaestus emerged. Malice? What malice? Hephaestus had it easy. Well, you threw him off Mount Olympus, his mother rejected him, the gods mocked him, no one invited him to dinner, or if they did, they changed plans at the last minute. I'm busy, Prometheus. It happens. My past set me free. Come home! I'll do anything! Anything!
I will always be the disfigured god. Look at Hephaestus. Someone like him, he should have just settled. He's the one who held Hera hostage, demanding Aphrodite's hand. I knew she would never touch him. She would be safe and unavailable. It was perfect, so I agreed. He brought despair on himself. Its heft was heavy, as was Phoenix's wood. By retrieving these dark memories and returning them to Hephaestus, was he dooming him to misery? The question haunted him as he continued. Forget your quest! Walk unburdened! Let Typhon take us. Undo the cruelty we have wreaked.
I will live in the flame, and it will not consume me. Did you?
Safely again in Pandora's box. All the forges are lit. The air should be strong enough to carry me up now. Strife? So his wife doesn't love him and he was forced into exile for years. That's not so bad. I'm married to Hera. Ugh. 
Please, Aphrodite. Just talk to me. Cold all of a sudden. I almost feel sad. As the derange that comes with it. You see, for every misdeed you put upon him, Hephaestus let his rage burn, channeling it into a force for good. His many creations. Life was never going to be easy for the boy. I was trying to make him strong. He didn't realize how much I had. Malice, strife, despair, and vengeance merged, and together became Hephaestus's locked-away essence made whole. <sighs> Hephaestus, I'm back, and I have your essence. Hephaestus? Phoenix hoped Hephaestus was at the Hall of the Gods.
I shall go to the project, get rid of my husband, G-R-O-N-H, for sure. I'm still working on the name. You have to come up with something short and snappy and people can charm. I'm here selling, if you're buying. The market for anything. You're here. When I came out of the vault, I thought something happened. Something's always happening. Something bad. How did you get here? I might have helped. You made my winged helmet and sandals. I saved you and brought you here. So, you know, we're even. He thinks we met before. Shh, just play along. Yes! Your sandals! I'm glad you like your sandals. Oh, I tried. Did you find his essence? You sure you're ready for this? Nothing bad has ever happened ever. Why would it start now? Father of invention, lend me your sword, your spear, your arrow. Transform the darkness to light our way.
Welcome back, old friend. You okay, big guy? I remember. Everything. Give it time. There's one thing I still don't understand. With no memory, how did you leave clues leading to Typhon's vault? Not Typhon's. Mine. I suffered so long, I was so tired. Before Typhon came, I used Pandora's box many times to trap my inner torments in that vault. I had a system. I created the clues so I could find my way back. Typhon found me defenseless. I let that monster turn me into one of my automatons. I even enjoyed it. Because automatons feel nothing at all. But your clues... You should have been able to retrieve your own essence. Steropis and Brontis, my assistants, double-crossed me. They took the first clue, the one directing me to light the forge fires, and burned it. No, there's nothing more evil than irony. In doing so, they made sure my prison was permanent. I know those names. Each is a legendary Cyclops. If I find them, I will make sure they pay for what they did. Good. They stole armor I'd been forging. Consider it yours. And, speaking of payment, I at least owe you this one. You're going to need it for what we must do next. We're going to steal something. Oh, yes! To protect hope from the clumsiness and sorrow of mortals, Zeus hid its fragile form somewhere near my forge. There, behind the locked door, hope waits. We must release it. If we're talking heist, I'm interested. I hid the key in the northeast of the forgelands, in a shrine. Let me guess, under the mat, the best place to hide something. But even if I can steal the key and find the hidden chamber near the forge, how do we release hope? Together. That box is now ready for its task. May the light of a thousand forges guide your way. King Betrayer. <laughs> <laughs> assistant? Who made my thunder? First I walked the park. His eyes followed me everywhere. It was awful. I had to leave early. You just can't let me build Hector, can you? <laughs> <laughs> on his achievement? Shield bearer.
Phoenix came upon Steropes, once guardian of the automatons, now the ghost was sent of Typhon. It was shoddy work. You know I didn't tip him.
This is hopeless. Phoenix is about to rectify that situation. What I did, I did to protect what little hope was left in this world. It was too fragile to be trusted to confessors, let alone mankind. And yet, look at them now. Your son is stronger than you ever believed him to be. As is Phoenix.
I've lost much, as have we all. You were almost so much better with them than you were with me. I guess forcing Zeus to marry us wasn't the smartest move. I'm glad you realized that. So now we can move past it. I'm not letting go. I love you. Love isn't a one-way thing. If you truly love me, you'd realize that. You've come back. Hope in hand. May it spread wide. You've brought so much more to this old god than hope. I doubted my worth. Everyone did. But that doubt did not make me weak. It made me strong. I was the greatest creator to ever plunge metal into flame. For my doubts always forced me to push myself to greater heights. Because of you, I am that again. And maybe a little prouder for it. Anything's better than arting, right? <laughs> I commit myself to rebuilding this world with you. <laughs> and uh, when this is over, maybe you could help me destroy some of that art. You are the first friend I've had in a long, long time. The first of many. Thank you, young Phoenix. May the light of a thousand forges guide your way, big guy. May the light of a thousand forges guide your way. Phosphor, I see something. That must be the clue. Where are you, Hermes? Show yourself. <gasps> or are you having this one fight your battles for you now? Well, so be it.
Bosphor! Near the Ultimate Warrior Sanctuary, there's a decision to be made. Don't be a bust. Treasure is best left to its own devices. And a key. Phosphor! Thank goodness you're safe. He says that you let the Griffin get away. Which, in my honest opinion, is a good thing. You would think being carried across the sky by a griffin would be full of wonder, but let me tell you, it was not. Plus, I'm allergic to cats. Well, there's always a next time. You live, you learn. Oh, nice one. He says you're a sorry excuse for a warrior. How's this bird doing for you so far? It's a work in progress. Rom wasn't built in a day. Rom? Yeah, it was our neighbor's house. He kept on having sons, so he kept on adding rooms. But then they all died from a plague. So now it's an inn named Rom, after the eldest son. May you deliver him to Charon safely. Oh, that ship has sailed. He didn't have the coins, so Cerberus ate him. Rom, 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 Rom. <laughs> Too soon. climbed past the God of War's great feet, made for grinding his enemies to dust. Don't mean to get handsy, Ares. Excuse me. The statue's rippling stone 
displayed Ares's magnificent physical strength and brawny musculature. Doesn't hold a candle to me in my prime. home to Ares's imposing fortress, massive skeletons of conquered monsters, and bottomless canyons leading to nowhere. Nice sir. As Phoenix surveyed the terrain from atop the God of War, he spied a beast so majestic, it could be no ordinary creature. Ah, that must be my son. Not the sharpest sword in the barracks, but he'll knock Phoenix off his feet. Mark my words. Closer. I am Ares, the mighty god of war. I will tear you limb from limb. Your puny frame will reduce to dust in my paws. Great Ares, my name is Phoenix. I'm here to defeat Typhon, and I require help from the god of war. You think my mighty blade is at the beck and call of anyone who asks? Don't make me laugh! <laughs> I—I I didn't mean any disrespect. I just can't do this without you. You have exhausted my patience. Flee, mortal, before you are forced to bear witness to your own destruction. I will feast on your very liver, mm, your eyeballs, and last but certainly not least, your quaking, shaking little heart. <laughs> Crap. My God! All right, the jig is up. Just get it over with. Feel like me, it'll numb my pain. Just do it! What? No, no, calm down, I... Either you do the honors, or they will. My turn, warrior. Come now, dice me up. I'm a chicken. Pathetic, clucking poultry. I'm looking for Ares. He's not... I am he! Once the mighty god of war, 
now reduced to an easily startled pile of feathers. Are you sure? Does a bear poop in the woods? Sorry, fillet me now. Spare me this shame. But your Ares, always first to battle in your chariot. Sparta owed all its victories to you. Where is your famous bride? Your violence incarnate. I wish you were violence incarnate so this would all be over. No one gives a buck about me now. Since when does the mighty Ares care what anyone thinks? You won wars. You can take down Typhon. I mean, you must still, uh, do strategy or something. Look at me. I can't hold a sword. One back oh, on the battlefield and I'm a laughing stock. Even my love, Aphrodite, rejected me the moment she saw me. But I got Aphrodite back to her old self again. I think you might have a shot with her. Oh, so a gorgeous goddess in love with a chicken? I'm sure that's illegal. Definitely not illegal. Look, my fellow soldiers, the townspeople, my brother, they were all cursed by Typhon. They need your help. You can try pulling at my heartstrings all you want, but the reality is that this... This animal cannot help you. I'm not getting Aphrodite back, and you can't even hurt a chicken. Your brother is as good as dead. Hey. Now leave me alone to cry in peace. <laughs> Which I will also fail to do because chickens can't express emotions through tears. But just bottle them up inside. Forever. I guess I'll let Aphrodite know you've given up. What did you say? A chicken's a chicken, right? <laughs> May as well tell her you're too useless to fight. Forget your lost essence. You'll never be whole again. Fine. Tell her how worthless I am. Even if my essence would fix me, there's no way a mortal could get inside the vault. So forget it. Consider it forgotten. Uh, just out of curiosity, where would I find that vault? Right down there, covered in debris. It's impossible to uncover it. What about using that giant spear? Let's give it a shot. Bear, a little help. Conveniently placed giant spear. It's not blocked anymore, so off I go. <laughs> Fine. It's your funeral. Rest in pieces. Before you go, realistically, you have zero chance. But let's make it 0.1 with my blessing. Boy's a chick. It checks out. He's been a disappointment since day one. Babies, such freeloaders. 
I wonder what these chains are binding. Deep in the vault, Phoenix found a statue bound by chains, bearing a strong resemblance to Cotis, the Hecatonkeres. Let me guess! The Hundred Arms were a dead giveaway! So these chains can be broken. This is like Ares. Messy, dangerous, and in need of a decorator. What exactly is it about Ares that bothers you so much? I just wanted more. He starts wars, he rushes in. He's so messy. Anytime anyone prays to him, they're driven mad. He never takes out the garbage, even after Hera asks him like three times. But I've made my peace with it. We just joke around. Maybe he does all those things, except the last one, because he's trying to impress his dad. He wants you to take him seriously. Nah, he never thinks about how his bloodthirsty actions wreak havoc for everyone else. It's like he never grew up. They do say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. 
The sincerest form of flattery is kidnapping someone so you can get some alone time. Just ask Ganymede.
I will wage an endless war!
Python will drown in my endless rage!
Contain me forever, Typhon! With the chains broken, the grotesque statue seemed to call his name. to retrieve his essence! By the gods, who was that thief? I hope Ares will know what to do. If Geron wasn't turned to stone, he'd have that essence already, and probably a medal too. Phoenix, try harder! Huh? <laughs> 
It's not your turn, Bear. Do not be sorry. Be better. I comb the vault. So, someone got there first and stole your essence. My log! The thief could be anywhere by now. Failure was inevitable. We're done. Finished. Good night. What'll I tell Aphrodite? Tell her I'm on my way to be flattened on a chariot track. Can't even cross the road, <sighs> can he? Okay, you got it. Wait! This is a long shot, but we could track the thief via Amazon. As in my daughters, the Amazons. Uncanny trackers with uncanny tracking devices. My God! You do it! Don't get too excited. They aren't talking to me right now. It's a long story. But I do have an Amazon tracking kit I received as an offering. It's in my fortress, which the iPhone has locked me out of. Gods, this is pointless. Like my dad says, I'm just a bird brain. Unless. Unless? A blast of my salpings could open the gate. I didn't want Typhon's tentacles on it, so I hid it. Your salpings? Huh. I'll have to think of something to play. Who do you think you are? Aphrodite? You can't toot an instrument of war willy-nilly. Besides, that's only half the job. You'll have to open the gate with Typhon's Melody of Tribute. Oh, really? What's the melody? Typhon's no normal narcissist. He forced Pan to dedicate a song to him and trained my gate to respond to it alone. Pan toiled on the music in a vault somewhere. That's your best bet to find the melody. Once you've got everything, if you make it out alive, play at the fortress gate to open it. Hey, where's my tribute melody? I think it's the burps people get after drinking too much wine.
music could be a piece of Typhon's tribute melody. A part of Typhon's tribute melody. Typhon's tribute is complete. He should have hired Apollo instead. He charges less than Pan anyway.
Ugh, that thing looks straight from the underworld. How the Hades did it end up here? Draco Nysminius was a child of Ares and the protector of his realm. Didn't that thing die in Thebes? Yes, I remember because he used to bring that little monster to dinner parties. And then finally, one year, just like that, no more this. He brought its body to the Golden Isle to mourn his loss. That doesn't sound like Ares. There's a lot about him you do not know. What happened to its teeth? They were knocked out by Cadmus, a famous beast slayer, and later Jason of the Argonauts. Whenever the Dracon's teeth are planted in the earth, a soldier sprouts from the ground. Dental warfare! Typhon corrupted these soldiers and created an evil army of his own. I don't understand. Why didn't Ares tell me he'd brought the snake's body here? You aren't exactly the easiest person to talk to. Sure. I joke around. At his expense? I'm breaking the ice. You're making the ice. Bury the Dracon's teeth, and perhaps your words will grow to comfort your son. Or even found a city, the way the Spartoi helped Cadmos found Thebes. And there, in the jaws of the once mighty serpent, was Ares' instrument of war. It's always the last place you look, isn't it? Okay. Got Ares' Salpinx and Typhon's tribute melody. Time to go open the fortress. Ah! 
Get control of yourself, Bear. You are not ready. Go home. Ares? Shh. Do you want me captured? There's no proper cover. But this is your fortress. I don't rule the roost anymore, though, do I? You'll be king of the castle as soon as we get your essence back. How the gods will jump for joy if that even happens? But Aphrodite's married to Hephaestus, the whack job. I mean, I heard he's into finger painting these days. And Zeus hates me. Not true. I just prefer Athena's war making. Leadership, maturity. Apollo's music, oh my gods, I've become my father. <sighs> Ares, look at yourself. That's the real you. You don't care what people think. You act. You raise entire cities to the ground when you don't get your way. You protect your people and your family at the expense of everyone else. You're an asshole! And you were always one of my favorites. I question your taste. Let's get this gate open. You coming with me? Inside? You're kidding. If the old me did anything right, it was locked down that fortress. It is rigged to perfection. Okay, okay. I'll find the tracking kit and come back out. Stay safe. Take your own advice. The place will be crawling with Typhon's minions. Here, another of my blessings, Phoenix. In case you're about to beat the odds again. Good luck. I'm rooting for you. Ah, never seen this side of Ares. Maybe I misjudged him. The great and mighty Zeus? Never.
Ares is practically begging for Roberts with the spoils of war he hoards in here. You sure you're just not justifying all the stuff you stole from him? Come on! That was payment for having to raise the guy!
I didn't mean to be so critical of Ares. It was all supposed to be good fun! Perhaps his experience of it and yours were slightly different. He could see that I was smiling. Was he smiling back? What does that matter? Some father you are. I know! That's why this is so confusing.
Ugh. <sighs> 
Little bro, I surrender. The Kiron? No way! I saw you! Y you were stone! You're alive! Oh, uh, did I hurt you? Ha! Ah, of course not. I refuse to be taken down so easily. Especially by you. What happened? Well, the crew was turned to stone. I smoked something with the Oracle, but that's the closest I got. <laughs> Though he's actually not an Oracle. What are you doing here? Did he say anything about me? No. Only how dire the situation is. And from the sounds of the prophecy, only the true hero will be victorious. So? You mean... I'm here to save us all. Must be why I escaped turning to stone. I don't know. The prophecy said the true hero was flawed. I've never seen you make one mistake. Come on. It said eldest of Thetis. Mom's oldest. That's me. And a wise child convinced. That's you, oh wise one. So I have to convince you that I'm the hero. Get it? Except I'm not a child. Of course not. No prophecy is 100% accurate. Probably. But you don't have the Winged Herald's aid. Sure I do. Got these bad boys of a griffin. Iris alive, he snagged the limited edition pair. Can't Hermes keep his shoes on? Oh. Did you think the prophecy was about you? No. <laughs> no, I didn't. Then there's no need to worry. You don't want to take on that huge red monster thing anyway. Typhon! It's crazy. Do you know there are actual gods here? Yeah, I do. Actually doing one a favor. I'm looking for a tracking kit to tail a thief who stole a vial from Ares. What's it look like? Let's see here. So you are the thief. You never know what you're gonna need on an island like this. Figured I was being resourceful. That's Ares' essence, all right. Take it. Listen, you don't have to shoulder the burden anymore. Leave the rest up to me. I know you're not much of a fighter, Shield Bearer. I was training in secret. I never got to show you. The gods have me to thank. I'm recovering all their essences to take on Typhon. I believe you. Okay, you go on finding those essences. In fact, I'll need something from you when the gods are back to their old selves. Then you can meet me on the huge snowy mountain and help me take on Typhon. Oh, okay. Sounds good. That's the spirit. Two swords are better than one. Well, maybe a sword and a half. <gasps> my, my. It's a family reunion. Serving of essence of Ares? But did someone bring pie? Don't mind me. I'll 
just cut myself as that is. I'll take them down. No, you get out of here. I'll stay and fight. What? But go! I can handle this. Come on, let me take this one. Saved me. I have to see what happened to my fortress. And just like I suspected, it's teeming with goons. Probably ruined the carpet. Did you get the tracking kit? Didn't need it. I ran into the thief, and get this. It was my brother. He wasn't cursed. Ah, so that's the sketchy mortal you were talking to. He wants you two to fight Typhon alone. Does he have a death wish? If you knew his track record, he can do anything. Hmm. Well, you did something I thought was impossible. Oh? I was standing there feeling hopeless, knowing the odds were against you, waiting for you to fail. And I looked at my statue, and I thought of what you said. I thought Phoenix doesn't know he'll succeed, and yet he keeps going. That's bravery. And just like that, I would snap my fingers if I didn't have feathers. I was tired of being such a cuckoo bird. You have no idea the wreckage these hands once dealt. The shivering flesh they have caressed. I have an idea. They don't do damage anymore. They don't do anything. And I just can't live with that. So, cluck it. I'm done being a chicken. Yes! There's that fighting spirit! You'll be happy I got this back. Bagok! I can feel its power back. I mean, beckoning me. Here, the gift of my blessing in return. You deserve it, warrior. Thanks, Ares. Now I'm getting out of here. Meet me at the Hall of the Gods. It will be safe to make my transformation there. From hand to hunk. From feathers to ferocity. From beak to badass. From eggs to epic. From... Kev, don't want to turn Aphrodite into a vegetarian. I'll see you there. As Ares triumphantly returned to the Hall of the Gods, Phoenix couldn't help but reflect on what the god of war had taught him. Back there are a lot of bad chicken jokes. That true courage isn't the absence of despair, but a triumph over it. Ah, uh, Ares may not make the right choices at first, but he always fights for the right side in the end.
up my ankle. I thought it was intent on strangling me. A pecking! for the ages. You made it! Not in one piece. I've got bald spots from the feathers I stress shed. Is it because Aphrodite is here? Shut it, no! How do I look? For a chicken, about average. But you'll look better in a few. Now's as good a time as any. Look, it's hard for me to say thanks. But you put up with a lot of clucking around. It was worth every... Good. Now get me out of this clucking chicken suit. To win this battle, I will need a mighty ally. 
I call forth your raging spirit, Ares, god of war! Fight with me! <laughs> now we're talking! <laughs> Take me to the battleground! Toss me a weapon! I need something to hit! Yes, sir. We'll be getting to that soon. It's all rushing back to me now. Figure out what you're going to say to win over Aphrodite. I forgot how ripped this body was. I'll let my packs do the talking for me. I'm glad you're feeling yourself. All thanks to you, Phoenix. But we're not done yet. When you come back, I have tasks for you. Time to get this place back in shape. We should make a plan to face Typhon head on. Let us know when you're done attacking him from the shadows. So, oh god of war, I'll bet your tasks for me are fighting related. <laughs> you bet they are! Ooh, sweet vengeance! I'll bring the pain to Typhon soon enough! But first, his Sparta soldier punch who mocked me when I was a little lost bird? Need a talking to! There's some badass armor in it for you! Looked it right off the thugs. That wasn't smart of them. Who marks a guy whose last name is of war? Spartoi were created with brawn, not brains. But I want you to show them how short-sighted they were. <laughs> Ruffle their feathers and stuff a pillowcase with them. I'll track them down for you. The other task I have for you, its importance is immeasurable. It involves a bronze pot. And that's all I say. Huh. That sounds familiar. This wouldn't be the same pot that trapped you. No! All you need to know is that I need that pot. You'll find it in Clashing Rocks. Bring it here intact, and nobody gets hurt. Say no more. I'm here selling, if you're buying.
Spartoy soldier for Ares, Phoenix found a piece of broken armor. He would have to find its other half. Lucky Phoenix! Exacting vengeance! It's my favorite hobby. Phoenix discovered it wasn't in good shape. Not like there's a whole land dedicated to forges or anything.
As Phoenix approached the forge, something told him he wasn't the one. Huh? With the hottest Spartoi soldiers defeated, Phoenix could get to repairing the damaged armor. The armor gleamed. Not quite in fashion, but it will do.
This is it. The famous bronze pot. I'll bring it back to Ares. Okay, now that we're all here, let's do this. We must be cautious in our approach against Typhon. Cautious? We should sharpen our blades, storm his cave, and defile his manhood. Oh, baby. I'm right here. I cannot handle your outbursts anymore. I'm pregnant with Aris's baby, and you can't stop us. Wait until I tell my therapist about this. She'll have my back. Mark my words. <laughs> of course she has your back. It's Echo. She just repeats what you're saying. At least Echo listens to me. You've got to be kidding me. What would Zeus think of this mess you made, Ares? Mess I made? You just have it out for Ares because he actually takes off his helmet once in a while. That explains the brain damage. Yes. Embrace your dark side, Athena. I can feel a poem coming on. You're such a creep, Hephaestus. Only I can talk to my husband like that, you bloodless harpy. <laughs> oh, so you're defending the blacksmith now. Enough! I'm here, Olympians, and I have a plan. The Chiron! What, little bro? Thought you'd lost me again? No chance. If I may, Hephaestus, Pardon a mortal like me for butting in. You made a set of chains big enough to bind Typhon. They're up on Zeus's mountain. Am I right? Yes, you are. But Typhon... I can sneak up there without alerting Typhon and steal them. Those chains will never hold him. He'll break free. I just need a drop of blood from each of you, and I'll combine that with nectar from Olympus and coat the chains. Problem solved. He's right. That would work. Allow me. Simply extend your hands. I didn't even feel him do it. He's that good. I can't thank you enough. I'll return when the deed's done. What about me? I thought I was coming with you on the mountain. It's gotten way worse out there. Do you know how responsible I'd feel if something happened to you? I'll be fine. You said we'd do it together. Let's not argue, little bro. Stay here. Gather weapons in case I fail. But I shall not fail. <sighs> that was your brother? Yes. That confident smile. That assertiveness. The way he already knew where my chains are stored. I know, I know. I, I hate, hate him. him. He is the worst. He... he is? How did you ever live with that? He's so annoying. What a suck-up. If I wanted to be talked down to, I'd visit our father. Hey! You're not just going to let him walk all over you like that. Yes. He's going to fulfill the prophecy. Don't worry. Where's that jealousy I saw at my fortress? You want this glory? Seize it! You really think that prophecy isn't about you? Where's the stubborn phoenix who made me listen? What about your pride? You come first. Forget being nice. Avoiding conflict isn't worth it. The pain makes you stronger. I know for a fact that prophecy is yours. You've already fulfilled most of it. What do you want? To be a hero. Then you know what you have to do. Beat the Giron to the top of that mountain. That's right. And we're going to help you. I'll give you a big head start by summoning a storm to blast away the ice blocking the path up the mountain. Since when can you do that? 
Since Zeus let me borrow a storm to wreck the Greek fleet after the Trojan War. Favorite status comes in handy. <laughs> All I ever got was empty promises. At least you didn't get thrown off a mountain. You think that's bad? Zeus forced me to marry you! None of you want to be his favorite, trust me. Zeus is only trying to make up for the fact that he murdered my mother. They're... They're all right. I'm a terrible father. Finally! We have a winner! I killed the Spartoi soldiers, like you asked. Consider yourself... vengeanced. Ah, excel! Excellent! I mean, excellent! I was a chicken for too long! Oh, the nightmares! I looted the armor off them too. The pieces were broken, but I fixed them up at the forge. Hephaestus' forge? First time it was operated by an artist with actual skill. Thanks. I think. It's hard to see the compliment through the shade. A good warrior needs great armor. Swords don't mess around. I found the pot you wanted. Aha! Yes, give it here. Jen. I know this pot from my stories. It's the one that Otis and Aphialtes trapped you in, isn't it? They didn't trap me. I fell. I fell in. Anyway, this has nothing to do with that. I hid something important in there. Something only someone of your size can get. In you go. What did you hide? Listen, okay, punk? This is an emergency. Remember how I told you my daughters, the Amazons, weren't talking to me? Well, a while ago, I borrowed Aphrodite's girdle to, you know, try it on, as one does. I didn't know I was going to end up trapped in that pot. I lost the girdle. I couldn't go back in there to find it. Never again. What does this have to do with the Amazons? I'd given their queen, Hippolyta, a girdle as a present. So I just, uh, you know, borrowed that one back and used it as a decoy so that Aphrodite wouldn't notice hers had got missing. Hold on. So now you expect me to go in there so that your daughters will talk to you again? More so that Aphrodite doesn't notice her girdle now shoots fire arrows. Uh, but yes. Fine. Thank you, Phoenix. You're a loin saver. Just lean in. Now. <clears throat> I'm... in a pot. Hello? Ares! I hear you and see you, tiny warrior. I'll help you from up here. You know, you could have jumped inside the pot, and I could have helped from out there. Just... So, what does this girdle look like? It's usually for my eyes only. I know Justice wants you have to see it, but I want you to pretend you're not.
So this was Eris' humble abode for 13 months. Very humble. A lick of paint on the walls, a couple of throw rugs would have killed him. You were the one who ordered revenge on the giants, remember? Hey, they made a move on my wife. I don't share. She sure does. Uh, is this? Oh, yeah. Aphrodite's magic girdle. Jealous? Wow. Should I be touching this? I wouldn't want to set it off. Relax. It has to be worn to trigger its magical desire. Now stop squirming and bring it back. And remember, you never saw it. Right away. Uh, I mean, so what? Huh? Oh. Hey, Ares! A little help? Prepare to be shaken, not stirred! <laughs> believe you spent over a year in there. My back's all cramped. The panic never leaves me. Now, where is it? Aphrodite's girdle? Right here. It suits you. Sometimes it's better to make love, not war. If I admit you're right, never tell anyone anything about this. You have my word. You're right. Now it's time to play switch the girdles with Aphrodite. I wonder how many bruises I'll get this time. You say that like it's a good thing. Oh, got it. Enjoy. You did this looking for the clue, didn't you, Phosphor? No. 
The hollowed out beauty of violence is a gilded handle set upon the knife's blade. I heard that once. These people's poor houses. You may think I'm weak, but at least I try to live for something more than my own pride. Can you say the same? Where wild bears roam, King Cocolus' riches lie cold, waiting to be woven into temples and gardens, warned by the blood of my heart and the fiery springs of my tears. Speak aloud, my beloved, as you turn the key, and you may enter my treasure room.
Phoenix came across the great fortress of Elves. A true terror to behold. It's not that imposing when you know the owner of it is a chicken. with this world! I will make you see! My beloved, as you turn the key, your son, Icarus. Oh no, the treasure, it's fallen into Tartarus. Well, we've come this far, eh, Phosphor?
Bosford, wait! He's waiting for you to beat him with a whip, for he has failed you. I thought he'd never ask. What? No! No one deserves to be tortured for messing up. Just live, learn, and try harder next time. But I wasn't perfect. No one's perfect. I love you anyway, Phosphor. Oh, barf. There it is, the treasure. Did someone say treasure? Ha! <laughs> Look at that! We did it! Me and Phosphor, birds of a feather. Let's nab it and get out of here. Thank you for all your help. It's been an honor fighting by your side. Kidding? Phosphor, you saved us! Technically, Phosphor also nearly killed us! He did the right thing in the end. That's what matters. <laughs> nah, -uh. you forfeited the stash when you ran away. Finders keepers. Oh. I can't with you two and your antiquated honor. You're no fun. 
I'm out of here. Here, Phosphor. Take the seed. You've repaid your debt. You're free to go. You... you want to stay? With me? Well, come on then! And I apologize in advance for embarrassing you in the future with my compassion and charity and messiness and long-winded stories. No, you can't take it back now. You're stuck with me.
son of Phoenix's battle with the mighty Heracles, and how he freed him from the clutches of vile Typhon. With all four crests of the Fallen, Phoenix could now pass through the mysterious door. Inside the tomb of the heroes, Phoenix could feel the presence of the great mortal warriors of old, summoned to the Golden Isle to fight Typhon. What a bunch of turncoats! Achilles, known as the war hero to end all heroes, had an unconquerable hubris too easily stoked by Typhon. I can't look at that sweet, sweet face! Betrayer! No, wait, just one more glance. Atalanta, insatiable huntress with a strength of mind and body unmatched. But the master of the axe lost her way, and her distraction caused her demise. Then, only Heracles and Odysseus remain. One, the divine epitome of masculine prowess, and the other, a king with unparalleled intelligence. They fought hard. But Typhon outwitted Heracles' brute strength, and Odysseus, driven mad by inadequacy when he couldn't best Typhon, fell like the rest. Long would they suffer under Typhon's grip, until Phoenix came to set them free and surprise us all. For now. Phoenix ascended towards the mysterious room, a place where heroism passes into eternity. For a guy trying to get unchained from a rock, you sure do like to stop and chew on the scene. An empty pedestal? One fit for a hero.
can't believe it. I'll try to be worthy of this. I swear it.
Phoenix. My passion will light the fires above. Seek them out to stay warm. Any chance I can get a little of that burning passion? Not even if you were Adonis, Achilles, and Heracles having an orgy on a Pegasus made of rainbow. This is definitely inspiring a sculpture of despair. <laughs> That'll be the only thing you get out of this conversation. <sighs> Try to prevent Phoenix from reaching the top of the mountain. Don't let him stop you. Phoenix, you've got this.
Look, it's a statue of your father, Cronus. For goodness sake. My Mamria gave him a stone instead. Now I'm thinking she shouldn't have bothered. <sighs> You're right. Wow! That's harsh. No, I, I meant, isn't that statue supposed to have a stone in its hand? Now that you mention it. Ha! 
If he'd eaten you, Demeter, Hestia, Hera, Hades, and Poseidon would all be in his stomach right now. You saved them. Correction. I doomed them to eternal life with me. Which is worse? Hades certainly loves you. Yeah, he gave me two whining for us to take home. Is that love? Never gives up. I admire that. What are you thinking about? Nothing. Forget it. Lightning from my forge to help warm your way. Thank you, Hephaestus. And yet I've been waiting for that diamond-tipped spear I commissioned for ages. Inspiration doesn't come on command. But you do. That was a private experiment in animal behavior we will not be repeating. Below, the Golden Isle looked almost peaceful. Don't stop to admire the view, Phoenix. You're nearly there. Got to beat the gear on. Yeah. For weeks, while the world burned, while my kids needed me, I was partying with Hades. Gods know I was never there for her. You had a lot on your mind. I don't even know where she is right now. That's... pretty bad. Sorry.
Was it you, Hera, or Artemis that turned Callisto into yeah. a bear? Honestly, anyone who sleeps with me ends up miserable regardless. In the long run. Short term, enthusiastic. Thumbs up, no complaints. Thanks for clarifying that.
Phoenix was determined to reach the top. The sight of the peak gave Phoenix hope. But this part is boring. Maybe I should skip it? Prometheus, just tell the story. Suddenly, monsters appear. The action, the excitement. Just stop it, Prometheus. Stop. He tried to cheer me up. It's just weird and uncomfortable. Cheating on Hera. I wanted to have a good time. I didn't want to be a father. I didn't think about anyone but myself. Ah, these chains are hurting. We're talking about me right now, Prometheus. Suddenly, a pearl rolled past. Phoenix wondered if the oyster was using... ...clamouflage. Prometheus, please, stop. It's so bad. It's like you went to some kind of clown school. Flunked out, turned to telling jokes through interpretive dance, and mistook your audience's cries of pain for laughter. Actually, I do feel a little better now.
Golden Iron! Hopefully, they'll be able to fill it in later. And you shall be used to nothing! During his treacherous traversal, Phoenix was ambushed. I can't face all of these and beat Lagiro. Got your back, Phoenix. Hear the battle cry of Ares and feel your blood boil. Huh. 
ahead, Phoenix spotted an elaborate representation of the fiery wheel of King Ixion. Ah oh, yes, the king who I strapped to a fiery wheel for all eternity because he tried to seduce my wife. Meanwhile, I had my pick of any woman or man I wanted. What a hypocrite I am. At least he was also a murderer. Of course he was. He's Ares' son. And I just insulted Ares again. It's too easy. Ixion went after Hera. You tricked him with a cloud instead? <laughs> yes, I thought it was hilarious. How irresponsible. They had a kid who was deformed, constantly ostracized and rejected by mortals, to the point that he ended up only finding peace with horses. Laying with horses, he died sad and alone. Look on the bright side. At least the horses he lay with gave birth to the centaurs. Sexy horse people that make us ask uncomfortable anatomy questions. Try again.
lightning from my hammer strike warm your way.
Constellation of Justice, shining over mortals, symbolizing your power, O Zeus, to weigh their actions. That takes me back. Remember when I created them? First, first, the Titans roamed the Earth. You and me and the other gods defeated them. Those were good times, Zeus. Yes, they were. Then it was safe to make mortals. First, I tried fashioning them out of gold. They were perfect. It was so boring, so I ended them. Next, I tried silver. But they were so dumb, they just kept hurting themselves. So then, I used brass. That was a huge mistake. They just kept fighting each other until they no longer existed. And then, there was the fourth race. The heroes. They were just awesome. Love those guys. What did you fashion them out of? That was the problem. I lost the recipe card. So that brings us to now. The Fifth Age. I made them of iron. The best of the lot. Well, you better think so. If you hadn't stolen fire from the gods to give to those puny mortals, you wouldn't be here. Chained to a rock. You know you have the power to change that, right? You put me here? The Iron Mortals were a problem from the start, and they got worse with each generation. I'm already thinking of trying grape juice for the sixth. Or olive oil. Everyone loves that. What was wrong with the Iron Mortals exactly? The decadence, the selfishness, forgetting to wash their hands. They pursue pleasure and power single-mindedly and defy or create authority. They're too extreme and too messy. Sounds a lot like you. Hey! I guess it does. The world before Zeus was a place of chaos and suffering. It's the same now, too. I've accomplished nothing.
energy coming up to this one. Let me guess. The Tower of Hera. Prometheus, I loved her so much. I was cuckoo for her, literally. She was all about animals, so I became a cuckoo to get her to say yes. And when she said no, well, I shamed her into marrying me. And I shame her now that we're married. The cheating is just part of it. It's also cheating her out of her happiness. Cheating everyone. Cheating myself. This is actually the Tower of the Fates. Oh. Well, um... Who's your daddy now, Legiron? <laughs> hey, Cerberus Breath! Did you steal the vector, little one? Yes, I shot the doves down as they were delivering it to the mountain. Just like you said, Typhon. <sighs> what the? that grants the gods life and the icon from their veins. Place them in the cold room. The icon? The blood of the gods. Quickly, little one. Little one is pushing. Now, the Hydra Venom that toppled Heracles and the water of Styx, the most deadly river of the underworld. Stay back. Drop in the adamantine to contain it. Gently. This will be my throne once we murder the gods. Once I lay them to rest without poison, nothing can resist its dark kiss. So that's Typhon's plan. To kill them all! Oh, yeah. I could get used to this. The kill them! Oh, this is going to be good. Whoa, Speedy! How did you get up here? I heard everything! Look at me! Don't I deserve to be a god? And, of course, I'll make you one too! God of storytelling! You can immortalize me! Ah! Get it? You have no idea what you're doing! You can't give Typhon that poison! Stop worrying, little bro! I've got this! You won't have to hurt any gods, I promise! I'll do it! Out with the old, in with the new! No! I won't let you! Ha! <laughs> you and what army? No army. Just me. Oh, you're serious. I don't want to humiliate you, but you leave me no choice. Oh, let's see what you can do. <laughs> Come 
Come on, little bro. Keep me. Wow. Told you, I've been practicing. Guess I better stop going easy on you. Bring it on. Be careful what you wish for. Oh, yeah. I could get used to this. Is that like this moron's catchphrase? Come on, Phoenix! This isn't funny anymore, Phoenix. Is that what I am to you? Some kind of joke? That's not what I meant. I wanted to be like you my whole life. I would have done anything for you, and you never even asked once. It was like I didn't exist. Well, joke's on you. <laughs> <laughs> harbor and sink their ships one by one overnight? This is nothing compared to those feats. I didn't. I didn't do those things. What? What? Prometheus, what? I hid, all right? There was a storm. All the ships sank and the other soldiers were killed. I made it up. Happy? You made what up? All of it. I learned how to do it from you. You're such a good storyteller. It's impossible not to believe everything that comes out of your mouth. You're so passionate. I guess you could say storytelling runs in our family? That's not storytelling. That's called lying. Same farm, different fields. Anyhow, once I become a god, I can make all of it true. No one will ever know. The gear on. Typhon! No! <gasps> oh, stop! You're making a terrible mistake! No, 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 no. What if he uses that on my family? You have to get that potion, Phoenix! Never look behind you when someone points. That's one of the cardinal rules. Along with, keep a list to stay organized and always check to make sure one of the children you swallowed isn't secretly a stone. All good advice. Huh? <laughs> 
Phoenix could sense that if he followed his brother into the vault, there'd be no turning back. Athena, mighty Poseidon, the Earth Shaker, Zelus Artemis, with her deadly aim set to pierce even the heart of a hummingbird, painted pigs, all of them. Help me! Someone help! Someone! Behold your God! Like the heel of Achilles, these weaknesses will be their undoing. None of this is your fault. You're the victim. Where's my brother? The liar! Why would I want that on the throne of Olympus? I should thank you for exposing the truth, little one. Where is he? Where he should be. Stone like all the rest. You, however, have yet to make mistakes. You have returned the gods' essences. You have slain beasts and monsters. You have shown yourself worthy. Perhaps you are my champion. I would never kill the gods for you! Too bad. I suppose it's against your nature. You are half one yourself. No! Enough talking! Time to fulfill the prophecy! Oh! <laughs> 
Typhon fell to Phoenix's blade. Yes! Way to go, Phoenix! Prometheus, high five! Or do nothing. Alas, we could not create the perfect future together. But I bear you no ill will. For you have shown no fear. You deserve to know what I have known all along. With his final breath, he revealed the truth. Hermes is your father. What? Phoenix is a demigod? My... my father? Hermes? Eager to speak with Hermes and to see his brother restored despite his ill deeds, Phoenix began to climb out of the pit. If he got to the surface quickly enough, he could see everyone reanimated from stone. Well, I lost the bet. Brilliantly won, Prometheus. Just a few things aren't adding up. Pan is also Hermes' son. Yes. He has hooves. Phoenix, no hooves. You're right. And I just don't see what Typhon's plan was with the god-killing potion. He didn't even seem to use it. And you know, Phoenix definitely isn't going to see any mortals turn back. Because you're the one who turned them all to stone. Yeah. You and I fought about it right before... I went to Hades for that party. Pieces starting to fall into place. What did you do, Prometheus? You wouldn't see reason. So I set some events in motion. The storm that hit Phoenix's ship? I did that. Well, my brother Atlas did it for me. Wait, how did you say Typhon got free? I didn't. But that was Atlas too. And this story... Mostly true. Until the end. It served its purpose, keeping you here with me. Typhon didn't steal your powers of prophecy. They're never better. Much better than your powers of memory. In fact, I once warned you, but you didn't listen, of course, that if a certain nymph was ever to have a child by you... Thetis. That child, eldest of Thetis and Zeus, would end you. But, but Phoenix was mortal. Phoenix was injured. Not once. I made that up. Despite the extreme heat, Phoenix carried on undeterred, plunging the hammer of Hephaestus into the heart of the fire. No human could dream of holding that hammer. It's over! Phoenix is Helios Ash! No one can handle those bolts but me! No! It cannot be! Father of your line is not father of your kin! Eldest of Thetis, father overthrown! Hear on high! It's time for you to come home! Hermes isn't Phoenix's father. Phoenix is my... son! Zeus! You turned the mortals to stone? It was you? It was me. So Typhon was telling the truth. Why? I shaped this, the fifth age of humanity, out of iron. I brought them to life. Generations passed, and I saw the pain, so carelessly dealt out the cruelty, the decadent selfishness, and it was getting worse. I thought mortals were a failure, so I ended it. But I know now that I made a mistake. Who am I to judge imperfection? If I've learned one thing watching you save my children, it's that they are flawed. Mortals are exactly like the gods. In fact, we... I am worse. 
We'll all be better off without me. Oh. Yes! It is time to complete the prophecy. I am so proud of you. Promise me you'll be a better leader, but more importantly, a better father. I know you're not perfect, but you're my dad, and that's what matters. You're not going to kill me? What? You... you thought you were getting out of this that easy? Saying you made a mistake is the first step. Now, to quote Ares, you have to actually be better. There are like five, maybe six steps. I'd say more like twelve. Life! Isn't a staircase or a charity race. You either get it right the first time, or you fall. Of course, he's still alive. It seems I overestimated you, little one. There are no second chances. Typhon, stop! No! Oh, we are, baby!
Chase after Aphrodite than save you!
so alone. <laughs> <laughs> have been right earlier. Understatement of the century. You came to rescue your father and half-brother. How touching. And what a mistake. Wait, what? Long story, kid. But your mom had the nicest... Shut your mouth, you shepherd. I will deal with you next. Child of Zeus and Thetis, this is where I dig your grave! <sighs> you have no idea how to wield your power, you glorious for a special occasion, but I've decided to give up drinking. Next time, might want to invest in multiple cages. Well, well, the coward left you all alone. What a disappointment of a father he turned out to be. Hey! That's our deadbeat dad you're talking about, asshole! You will perish together! Special delivery! Just need your signature! Oops! Return to sender! No! I am perfect! You gods are all of that!
Sentence to die, Kaiser. No appeal allowed. Flooding overpopulation. Wars. I have solutions for everything. a point I disagree we're definitely going to make mistakes but we need the chaos if we're going to grow I say spare him but confinement the poison I'm too weak it's eating me alive what does your heart say I say we spare him <gasps> Let's get out of here before this vault closes. May you shine brightly among the stars, Phosphor. Daedalus's wings didn't make it. Typhon's flames burned them up. I'll fix them. 
I have a better idea. No offense to your excellent artistic skills, Hephaestus. Was that... Is he being nice? It's unnerving. Neil. For bravery on the battlefield and humanity of it. Uh, bored. Hermes, can you focus for a second? Lighten up, Athena. Oh, I'll lighten you up like a funeral pyre. For showing me that I can be a much better father to all of you. <laughs> I don't mind a little heat. Come over here, Ares. Oh, you can singe me any day. Am I invisible? <laughs> You're a terrible wingman, Hephaestus. That's it! I've had it! I'm getting a divorce! Shut up, all of you! How am I supposed to apologize when I want to throw every last one of you off Olympus? Again! Welcome to the family, Phoenix. Just don't make me regret this. My gods! Phosphor! I thought you were dead! He was! Now, whenever he dies, he'll return to life. I've created a new being in your honor. A majestic bird that burns with the fire of the sun and never gives up. The Phoenix! <gasps> I'm speechless. I don't deserve this. Yeah, you do, brother. Own it. <laughs> okay. I will. Oh, and I have one last gift. Wait! Someone's missing. Where is Legiron? Has anyone seen... Phoenix? Probably crying for help somewhere. If he isn't already dead, that is. Oh my god! Are you sure this was the right decision? Boom! Ah! Oh yeah, I'm sure. Come, my child. There is much I want to show you. Hey, hold on. You can't just give me wings, a phoenix, turn everyone back from stone, and expect me to be okay with what you did to me. To your children, to Aphrodite, to everyone. I can't? <laughs> Hey, hey, I'm kidding. I'm sober. I'm joining a support group. I'm, I'm going to read parenting manuscripts, for Hades' sake. Fine. I'll give this god thing a trial run. But I'll be watching you. Dad. I love you too, Phoenix. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Zeus! Phoenix! Anybody? Hey! Can somebody help me? Anyone? Yeah. You there! Mortal! Help! Me? Uh, I have a key. Oh, thank the gods. Let me out! Yes, but first, Zeus said I have to tell you... a story. What? What kind of story? Let this, the tale of Phoenix, be my redemption. My tale begins at sea. No! This is worse than the eagle. Curse you, Zoo! 